Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Start with Superman, Beat Marvel. Chapter 1. I declare that the Weapon Research and Development Department of Stark Industries will be closed. In the lobby of Tony's villa, the news from a few days ago is being played on the TV. Lin Feng sat on the sofa and watched the replay, couldn't help but shook his head and smiled, but at the same time he breathed a sigh of relief. It seems that after he rescued Tony from the cave, he did not cause any irreversible changes to the development of the main storyline. Tony Stark still closed the Weapon Research and Development Department as in the original book. Not long ago, Lin Feng was an ordinary blue star. While watching the short video, he accidentally fell asleep, while the Avengers Alliance movie was still playing on the screen of the mobile phone, and the sound of Tony Stark's hammer hitting metal came from behind the scenes, again and again. In this way, he was awakened by the sound of Tony smashing the iron again, and found that he had traveled to the cave where Tony died. And also activated the system. For Lin Feng, who complains about the dullness of life all day long, this is undoubtedly both magical and exciting. The first task released by the system was to help Tony Stark build the Iron Man armor, and the task reward was paid in advance, 10 Superman ability from the Iron Man. With the Superman strength of 10, Lin Feng definitely took Tony and escaped from the cave where he was imprisoned. Lin Feng, who saved Tony Stark, also gained Tony's friendship. Since he was a black household after time traveling, with no identity certificate and no house to live in, Lin Feng had no choice but to temporarily live in Tony Stark's seaside villa under the arrangement of Tony Stark. Lin Feng turned off the TV and rubbed his chin, it had been a while since Tony Stark was rescued. The second item of my novice task should also be put on the agenda. Thinking of this, Lin Feng couldn't help but read the task list of the system again, just seeing the word Superman behind the reward was enough to make his blood boil. Novice Mission 1, Free Tony Stark. Quest Reward, 10 Superman, Man of Steel Physical Fitness Completed. Novice Task 2, Fly to Outer Space to Receive Yellow Fixed Star Radiation, in any way. Quest Reward, Superman, Man of Steel Complete Ability. Reminder, after completing the two novice tasks, the system will completely bind the host. Please complete the novice tasks within one month, otherwise the system will automatically unbind. How many men and boys dream, super speed, super endurance, super strength. There are also handsome and practical heat ray, frozen breath and so on. Superman's ability. Lin Feng clicked his tongue, just thinking about it made him extremely excited, 10 Superman's ability has given him a taste of the sweetness and now he can't wait to complete the second novice task, so that he can experience what the full version of Superman is like. Let's talk about the novice task 2, fly to outer space, this task is indeed difficult, but it is actually relatively simple. In the past, Lin Feng probably had no chance to fly into outer space, not to mention that the technology at that time did not allow ordinary people to take rockets, even if it was allowed, Lin Feng would not have the money. However, now that Lin Feng is in Marvel, he is dazzled by all kinds of black technologies inside, and he has rescued Tony Stark, a big dog. In theory, it is not difficult to fly into outer space. The novice task only lasts for one month, and Lin Feng doesn't know what will happen if he can't complete it. Maybe he will still be in the Marvel world after the system is unlocked, but he will lose the power of Superman. It is also possible to burp directly after unbinding, without even having the chance to go back. No matter what kind of result it is, it is not what Lin Feng wants to see. In this case, Lin Feng knew that he could only seek the help of Tony Stark, which was also the most convenient and reliable way to fly into space. At that time, I can have the complete ability of Superman. Although it is the version of the Man of Steel, it can completely put a punch on strange flowers such as Green Titan and Purple Sweet Potato Essence. Mixed smoothly. Well, the plan works. Lin Feng kept imagining the bright future, and when he thought of the excitement, he jumped up from the sofa and punched a set of fists. Like a silly roe deer. Just when Lin Feng was enjoying himself, Tony Stark, who had been dealing with reporters for a day, returned to the villa, and saw Lin Feng going crazy on the sofa as soon as he entered the door. Hey man, are you drugged? Do you know how much that couch is worth? Lin Feng, who let himself go, was awakened by the sudden voice, only to find that Tony had returned. 
He jumped off the sofa in embarrassment and patted the spot where he stepped on. Oh, Tony, welcome back, hee <laughs> hee. Ah, Tony snorted, walked over to the sofa and sat down. How about it, Lin, are you still used to living here? Hearing this, Lin Feng touched his chin with his hand, pretending to be thinking, and said, hem, it's okay. It's okay. Dude, do you know how much the sofa you stepped on just now is worth, $30,000? Tony couldn't help but rolled his eyes. Oh, man, it doesn't matter, we're friends, aren't we? After I have a house, I will allow you to step on my sofa. Lin Feng pretended to be generous and waved his hand, writing a bad check. Anyway, I am penniless now, so let's expose this matter first. I don't care. Tony curled his lips, but he didn't refute Lin Feng's friend's statement. Although he was a venomous tongue, for Lin Feng who had shared adversity and saved his life, he reluctantly recognized the identity of a friend. And in the days to come, Tony also rejoiced countless times that he had such a friend. But that's all for later. As for the house, you already have it. Tony reached out and threw a pile of documents to Lin Feng. The ID you want, your driver's license, and, a villa in New York. This is a special treat. Tony pointed to the property certificate of the villa, raised his brows and said, Pepper personally selected it for you. I believe you will like it. Now, you can express your happiness and thank the rich man, Tony Stark. Tony had a dirty face, showing his authority as a rich man. Lin Feng took the certificate speechlessly, opened it and glanced at it. An identity certificate, a certificate of title to a villa in the twisting guest area, 600 square meters. On top of that, there's a check for $5 million. Oh, Lin Feng narrowed his eyes, it's okay, very satisfied. Thank you very much Tony Stark, a millionaire, I am very satisfied with this gift. Lin Feng raised his brows, but happily closed them, and nodded to Tony Stark with a satisfied face. I have to say that although Tony has a poisonous tongue, he is still very thoughtful and sincere in what he does. Hey guys, here's the young man's first house. Oh no, it's the first villa. He was not polite to Tony either. After chatting and spanking, Lin Feng decided to talk to Tony about his dream of going to outer space. Speaking of which, Tony. Lin Feng sat up a little bit, as if I have something serious to talk to you about. Actually, I have one more important thing that needs your help. Oh, tell me. Seeing Lin Feng getting serious, Tony frowned, got up and went to the bar to get a bottle of whiskey and came back. He poured himself a glass, then pushed an empty glass to Lin Feng, indicating that he wanted to drink and pour it himself. Lin Feng didn't pour the wine. He wasn't used to the taste of whiskey, he pointed to it, and continued. Tony, I want to go to outer space. That's the kind, the kind that flies out of the Earth's atmosphere. It doesn't need to be too far away, it's about the same place as a satellite. Tony was taken aback when he heard the words, and the wine glass he raised froze in midair. Outer space, the kind that leaves Earth. Am I right? Yes, Tony, the kind that left the Earth. Lin Feng nodded. Tony leaned forward, dude, are you really on drugs? Tony's words made Lin Feng even more speechless. I'm serious, Tony. Seeing that Lin Feng was really serious, Tony rubbed his chin. Well, you're serious. I'm curious why you suddenly want to go to outer space. Want to go sightseeing? Flying to outer space is completely possible with the current Stark industry, and the money spent is just a trivial matter for Tony. After all, Stark also has its own commercial satellites. It's not sightseeing, Tony, I can only tell you that it's related to my ability. In order to successfully complete the novice task too, Lin Feng decided to tell Tony some truths with half-truths. Lin Feng knew very well that without a suitable reason, Tony Stark would not easily agree to his seemingly crazy request. After all, as far as the current time period is concerned, the risk of sending people to outer space is still quite high, unlike the appearance of Star-Lord in the later period, when flying out of the Earth was commonplace. My ability comes from the radiation of the sun, Lin Feng continued. In outer space, without the cover of the atmosphere, I can receive radiation to the maximum extent and strengthen myself, and my ability will also be greatly improved. Well, dot you understand. Having said that, Lin Feng made a punching motion and raised his eyebrows at Tony. 
At that time in the cave, I was in such a posture and punched a big hole out of the mountain. The falling rubble bought precious time for Tony's armor to recharge, which made Tony very impressed. Well, Lin, this is really a strange exercise method, I have never heard of it. Tony picked up the wine glass and shook his head while sighing, he also thought of Lin Feng's punch at that time, it was too powerful, and the world boxing champion did not have this kind of punch. Lin, actually I've always had a problem, Tony changed the topic. I'm a little curious if you are a mutant, after all you were. Tony also imitated Lin Feng and threw a punch. That's not something ordinary people can do. In Tony's impression, it seems that only the mutant group has some abilities beyond ordinary people. I'm not a mutant, Tony. Lin Feng explained, indeed, it's hard not to think of a mutant with his punch, but. Mutant. Mutant can't beat Superman. To be precise, my super ability comes from a kind of blood inheritance. Lin Feng gesticulated twice in the air with both hands, and explained. Um, actually, I don't know too well. After all, I haven't been awakening for a long time, so I'm also very confused. Lin Feng lied, half-truths and half-false words are the most difficult for people to distinguish. In the past few days, he used the internet to conduct a comprehensive investigation of the current world, and confirmed that this is indeed a pure Marvel world. And the humans in this world have no knowledge of Superman. Could not find any comics, videos, movies, topics, etc. related to Superman. Okay, Tony shrugged, accepting the explanation. Then you promised to send me to outer space. Lin Feng asked. Oh, this is very simple for me, buddy, since you want to go, then I will take you there. Tony shrugged indifferently, since Lin Feng wanted to go, let him go, otherwise, someone might call him stingy. Hearing that Tony agreed, Lin Feng felt better. Just know that Tony will most likely not refuse. A week later, Stark Industries will launch an artificial satellite, you can go to space with him. Tony stood up, patted Lin Feng on the shoulder and arranged. Now, you can go and see your new residence. Well, you know, my villa does not welcome men other than me, unless you are a woman. Half jokingly, half seriously, Tony started pushing people away. He wasn't lying that his villa had always been visited only by cover girls from magazines. Go to the garage and pick up a means of transportation. I'll give it to you. After all, it's not easy to take a taxi here. Without waiting for Lin Feng to speak, Tony continued. Okay. Lin Feng nodded and agreed to Tony's arrangement. The goal has been achieved, and with his own house, Lin Feng also wants to see what his first villa looks like. Lin Feng quickly left Tony's villa, and before leaving, he drove Tony's R8 sports car like a dog. He remembered that it was Tony Stark's favorite car in the movie, at least for now. Well, Stark said it's okay to pick whatever you want. Facing the setting sun, Lin Feng drove Tony's R8 sports car and arrived at the villa at the address before dark. After parking the car, Lin Feng walked towards his first house. Looking around, it looks like a small manor, a two-story villa is located in the middle of a large lawn. Simple architectural style, there is also a small fountain at the entrance, spraying clean water constantly. What satisfies Lin Feng most is that there is a large swimming pool in the backyard. Um, seeing this, Lin Feng couldn't help but start to fantasize in his heart. Imagine yourself pulling the future wife to play in the water. Immediately, Lin Feng felt a little itchy in his heart. I don't know who my wife should choose, but I remember that there are many beautiful ones in Marvel. Hila, not very good, I don't like dark circles under the eyes, and those dark circles are a bit unsightly. Natasha Romanoff. How should I put it? In fact, Natasha Romanoff is more like Lin Feng. But Lin Feng felt that Wanda's bear size was more to his liking. I don't know if I can withstand those two big bears. While thinking about it, Lin Feng visited the villa all over and was very satisfied. The sanitation of the villa was cleaned by specialized housekeeping staff, and it was spotless, so Lin Feng didn't need to do it. When I opened the refrigerator, there were a lot of expensive ingredients in it, which should have been arranged by Pei Bo, and the dinner was settled. Lin Feng took out a piece of steak and a bottle of beer. Before the time travel, Lin Feng also cooked some simple dishes. Cutting a steak is not a big deal for him, although his skill is not as good as that of a chef. 
The steak was fried quickly, medium rare, Lin Feng's favorite texture. Sitting at the dinner table, while enjoying dinner, I was sorting out the way to go in my mind. The time period that Lin Feng traveled through was Iron Man 1, which was when the Marvel plot began to develop significantly. The danger in the future is about to sprout, Lin Feng's heart is like a mirror, and he knows that he should prepare early. In the main storyline, the biggest enemy in the future, Purple Sweet Potato Jing, should still be searching for information about infinite gems in the universe. The United States captain is also buried under the ice, but should be dug up soon. Odin's mentally retarded eldest son should be exiled to the Earth soon, and the Green Titan, I can't remember whether it was before or after Thor came to the Earth. And Spider-Man, Strange, and more. Lin Feng thought about it, put a piece of steak into his mouth and chewed it, it was really delicious, life with money is so good. Now Pete Parker should still be a kid, Strange is still a surgeon, and he still has a long time to develop. Thinking of Strange, and thinking of the wise magician of Ancient One who seems to know everything. I don't know if my time traveler has been discovered by Ancient One. However, he wasn't too worried about Ancient One Lin Feng. Ancient One wasn't a bloodthirsty person, so it didn't make sense for him to beat him up as a foreigner. Isn't there a lot of aliens on Blue Star now, and Ancient One is not seeing them expel them. But Lin Feng remembered that Superman's magic resistance seems to be very low. I can't judge how low it is, and I haven't tried it. But the low magic resistance is likely to become his biggest and most fatal weakness. You have to find a way to solve it. Definitely, the novice task 2 needs to be solved first. Getting the full Superman ability first is what is most needed at the moment, and everything else is for later. After eating and drinking, Lin Feng didn't think anymore. After simply washing up, he lay down on the big soft bed and slowly fell into a dream. Comma 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 The time was like looking forward to the stars and the moon in Lin Feng's eyes, and a week passed quickly. This morning, Lin Feng received a call, and seeing the words Tony Stark on the screen, he raised his brows and thought. The phone connected, and Tony's voice came, Hey, Lin, your space journey is about to begin. Are you ready? J-A-R-V-I-S should have sent the address to your device. Come over as soon as possible, buddy, or you won't catch the last bus if you're late. Understood. Come here soon. After hanging up the phone, a smile appeared on the corner of Lin Feng's mouth, and he couldn't help but feel a little excited in his heart, as expected. Become a superman yourself today. Not eating breakfast, Lin Feng quickly jumped into the R8 sports car, directly kicking the floor oil. The poor R8 roared aggrievedly, and carried Lin Feng whimpering straight to the rocket launch base. An hour later, Lin Feng finally rushed to the scene, and Tony was already waiting here. Seeing Lin Feng's arrival, Tony greeted them, and the two took the elevator to the head of the rocket together, where there was a re-entry capsule, which was Lin Feng's seat. In the elevator, Tony threw a black wristband to Lin Feng. Lin Feng took it and looked down. What is this? The black circular metal sheet has an electronic display screen, and there seems to be an earphone on the side. Here's your ticket, Lin. Tony snapped his fingers and said coquettishly. Seriously. Lin Feng turned dark and stared at Tony. Well man, you've got no sense of humor, Tony grumbled, before explaining. This is a posture detector with communication function. He can detect your body information in real time. If you have any questions, you can also contact JARVIS or contact me directly. Simply put, it's a communication tool. Lin Feng understood, nodded and stuck the wristband on his wrist. Put on your earphones, JARVIS will remind you of some things to go into space. Now you need to get on board, man. I'm looking forward to how strong you will become, Tony added with a wink. Comma. One sentence from Tony made Lin Feng laugh. To what extent did he become stronger? You can scrap your steel armor with a single punch. Is it strong enough? It will definitely surprise you. Lin Feng nodded Tony with his chin, with an arrogant attitude. I'm not nearsighted, I just like wearing sunglasses. Tony rolled his eyes, and laughed again the next second. Lin Feng also laughed, and the relationship between the two has risen to the level of friends. 
When the two were talking, the elevator had reached the top of the rocket, where the return capsule was located. Tony stepped out first, pressed a few times on the rocket, and a hatch slowly popped out. Get aboard, man, Tony said, turning his head. Your seat is here. When you need to go back, just tell JARVIS directly through the headset, and he will bring you back. Tony nodded his ears, then pointed to the return cabin and said. If you have any questions, please contact JARVIS or me in time. Understood. After Lin Feng replied, he stepped into the re-entry capsule. Looking at it curiously, this is Lin Feng's first time flying into space on a rocket. Some curiosity is inevitable. The space of the return capsule in white tone is a little narrow, just enough for Lin Feng to sit in it alone. This is still a temporary modification. Originally, the rocket was not planned to carry people this time. However, according to Lin Feng's request, Tony temporarily modified some. I have to say that although Tony's speech is not very pleasant, his skills are really. How should I put it, I am worthy of being a person cursed by knowledge. After closing the return hatch, Tony also took the elevator back to the ground. The rocket fuel will be filled soon, and it will soon enter the countdown stage. The staff around the rocket quickly cleared the scene, and the connection between the launch pad and the main body of the rocket was slowly disconnected. Everything is ready, the huge rocket carrying Lin Feng is about to ignite into space. In the rocket launch control room, Tony was checking various rocket data. He ordered JARVIS to access it and search for possible hidden dangers in detail. Originally, Tony was not required to watch this launch, but this time there was an extra Lin Feng in space, so Tony came to confirm his safety in person. The staff is also nervously staring at the various data and checking again and again. Under the eyes of the big boss, if there is a slight mistake, you can pack up and get out. Lin Feng studied the re-entry capsule for a long time, but did not find anything. He sat on the air seat, fastened the straps, took a deep breath, and waited quietly for the rocket to take off. The time for him to become a superman is getting closer and closer, and the emotions of tension and anticipation are intertwined, which makes Lin Feng a little excited. In this state of excitement, ten minutes passed quickly. In Lin Feng's headset, the countdown to the rocket launch finally came. He tightly held the handle of the aerospace seat. To be honest, it was not normal for him not to be nervous when he was riding a rocket for the first time. 10, 9, 8, 7. The sound of the countdown came to the ear through the headset, Lin Feng swallowed slowly. 3, 2, 1. Ignition. Accompanied by a huge roar, huge amounts of flames were sprayed out from the tail of the rocket, and the entire rocket also began to vibrate, and the fully burned fuel turned into white smoke and covered half of the rocket. A strong sense of back pushing came along with the vibration of the distance, huge amounts of the rocket rose straight from the ground, slowly rising, and the speed became faster and faster. This feeling of pushing back, hiss. It's much stronger than Tony's broken R8. Lin Feng inside the rocket is not wearing a spacesuit, but he has the physical fitness of Superman 10 anyway. It easily withstood the G-force exerted by the rocket propulsion. With the rapid ascent, the booster rocket disintegrated constantly, and the main body soon flew out of the atmosphere and reached the predetermined orbit. A different kind of weightlessness came, which made Lin Feng feel extremely fresh. He knew that the rocket flew out of the Earth. After unfastening the strap, Lin Feng slowly floated into the air. Climbing the inner wall of the return capsule, Lin Feng climbed to the only glass window of the return capsule and looked out. What caught my eye was the stars twinkling in the endless darkness. Not far away from me, huge amounts of blue and white planets cover most of the field of vision. That is the blue star where Lin Feng lives. Different from the photos, Lin Feng witnessed this mother planet that has nurtured countless lives for the first time with his eyes. Gorgeous. Lin Feng took out his mobile phone turned on the camera mode and pointed it out of the window. Click. After taking several photos in succession, Lin Feng chose the one he thought was the best, and set it as the lock screen wallpaper. The blue star I took with my own hands is very commemorative. When I went back, I wanted to post on moments anyway. This experience is not something everyone can have. Ding. The voice of the system also came over. It has been detected that the host is already in outer space, please get out of the cabin and face the sun to start evolution. 
The long-lost system notification sound came, but Lin Feng's camera hand paused slightly, and he dug his ears, afraid that he might have heard it wrong. Did I hear wrong or did you say wrong? Want me to get out of the cabin? If I remember correctly, outer space is minus 270 degrees. Yes, host. Please get out of the cabin, host. Hearing the systematic answer, Lin Feng had a black line on his forehead and a question mark on his face. System, are you sure you want me to go out? I'm not a full version of Superman yet. Will I still be alive when I step out of the cabin? Host, don't worry. Believe in the system and it's over. Go out without worry, everything is in the system. The sound of the system came again, leaving no escape for Lin Feng. Lin Feng's eyelids twitched, he took a deep breath, and tried to calm down, but his hands were shaking. All right, we've come this far. Since the system has said that there is no problem, then trust him once, there is no reason for the system to harm yourself. If you can't even overcome these difficulties, and the purple sweet potato essence comes later, do you want to find a place to hide it? Lin Feng can't do it. Now, the opportunity to become stronger is just outside the cabin, how can you catch a tiger if you don't enter the tiger's den? This mission must be completed. Lin Feng gritted his teeth and pressed the button to open the return hatch. The moment the hatch opened, Lin Feng was pulled out by a suction force. He just floated upright in outer space. The feeling of coldness and suffocation that Lin Feng imagined did not come, he drifted slowly for a distance without feeling any discomfort. Hem. Dot not as uncomfortable as I imagined. Only then did Lin Feng feel relieved, and he adjusted his body direction towards the direction where the sun was shining. In the distance ahead is a huge yellow fixed star that exudes dazzling light. Sun, finally faced this fiery yellow dwarf star in the universe. The sun shone on Lin Feng's body, and the dazzling yellow light made Lin Feng close his eyes. An indescribable sense of comfort spread all over the body, every cell in the body cheered like a fish in water. Comfort like never before, Lin Feng opened his hands to enjoy, just floating in outer space quietly. Yet he was comfortable, and Tony on Earth who witnessed this scene was horrified. Mace Fak. Seeing Lin Feng opened the re-entry capsule and floated out, Tony was shocked and burst out the mantra of black braised eggs. He quickly took out an electronic screen from his pocket and pressed it. J-A-R-V-I-S. Tony called directly. How did Lin Feng get out of the cabin? Is the re-entry capsule malfunctioning? Or he can't think about it? Just asking three times, my good guy, did Lin Feng choose a different way of death when he went to outer space? If this is the case, tomorrow's news headlines will definitely be me again. Big news, Tony Stark gave his friend a different way to self-destruct. Tony's heart was full of big question marks and worries. It wasn't until the next second that the message from JARVIS made Tony feel a little relieved. It's unbelievable, sir, I've never seen such an existence as Mr. Lin Feng. What you were worried about didn't happen, Mr. Lin Feng opened the hatch and walked out by himself. And I show here that Mr. Lin Feng's current physical data is all normal, except for a slightly faster heart rate. With the voice of JARVIS, the electronic screen in Tony's hand also lit up Lin Feng's current body data. The data shows that although Lin Feng's heart rate is a little faster, it is still within the normal range. Only then did Tony feel relieved, and his anxiety gradually calmed down. Dude, I'm going to blow my mind. Tony said to himself. It's incredible. J-A-R-V-I-S, you say. Lin Feng, he, couldn't be an alien. Tony's voice became a little hoarse. Regardless of what Tony thought, Lin Feng in the universe slowly fell into a deep sleep with another system notification tone. Evolution begins. Time flies. It has been two or three months since Lin Feng arrived in outer space. During this period, Lin Feng, under the influence of the system, has been in a deep sleep state. The optimized Kryptonian blood is constantly transforming Lin Feng's body. Combined with the radiation from the yellow fixed star, Lin Feng's body became stronger and stronger. On Earth, Tony has to observe Lin Feng's status almost every few days. In order to ensure that his wonderful friend is still alive. However, every time, Lin Feng's physical data showed normal. The words about the survival of the living body made Tony and JARVIS call it outrageous. 
Floating in outer space without eating or drinking, without Lin Feng becoming stronger, Tony has already been surprised. Since Lin Feng is fine, fortunately Tony no longer pays attention to Lin Feng who is floating around. He has recently researched a new big toy, which is an extension of his creation in the cave. He named it Mark II. There is no doubt about Tony's scientific research strength. A few days later, Tony flew into the sky wearing Mark II and was as happy as an idiot. Even the fact that he almost got a lunchbox because of freezing during the test couldn't extinguish Tony's excitement. On Earth, apart from Tony Stark who observes Lin Feng from time to time, there is also a black stewed egg who also notices the existence of Lin Feng. At the moment Nick Fury is sitting in his office with Phil Coulson at his desk. Phil Coulson handed Nick Fury a tablet, and the picture on the tablet was the picture of Lin Feng floating in space. Nick Fury stared at the screen for a long time, then looked at Phil Coulson. The two looked at each other strangely, and seemed a little speechless. As if he couldn't bear the strange atmosphere, the black marinated egg spoke. He has been floating in space for more than two months. Yes chief. Even the posture hasn't changed. Yes chief. Alive. Yes chief. Maze fact. Yes chief. Phil Coulson echoed. Huh. Black braised egg stared at him with the only remaining eye. Ah. Director, should we contact Tony Stark? The data shows that Tony Stark sent this man to outer space. Black braised egg tapped the table with his hands, thought for a moment, and rejected the proposal. No, just focus on Tony Stark and his toys for now. This Lin Feng, let the monitoring team continue to monitor, and notify me as soon as there is any change. The black stewed egg gave the order. Yes, chief, after Phil Coulson went out, there was only one person left in the huge office. He opened the desk drawer and took out a document. A large line of red letters on the cover of the document, the Avengers plan. And the timeline of at the moment also came to the end of Iron Man 1. In space, the sound of the system came again to Lin Feng, who had been sleeping for a long time. Ding. The evolution is complete, the Kryptonian bloodline has integrated. Congratulations to the host for completing all the novice tasks, the system is officially binding. Lin Feng opened his eyes suddenly, and there seemed to be a red light shooting out of them. Binding. Point 1. Point 1.5. Point 0.37, Point 0.59, Point 0.98, Point 0.100. Zero zero. The binding is successful, the evolution system is at your service, this system is a special system for Kryptonian bloodline evolution. With the help of the system, the host will become the strongest Superman. With the sound of the system falling, Lin Feng finally completed the novice task. Reaching out and clenched his fist, Lin Feng felt stronger and healthier than ever before. It seems that every cell in the body is full of huge amounts of energy, and it is ready to come out. Good guy, is this the power of the man of steel? Feeling the current body in detail, Lin Feng couldn't help admiring. System, open the personal panel. Lin Feng called. A transparent screen that only Lin Feng could see suddenly appeared in front of his eyes. Evolution system, host, Lin Feng. Reputation point. Tent reputation point can be exchanged for various commodities in the system store. Ability. Superman Man of Steel can be upgraded. Current tasks. None. System store. Level 1. The panel is very simple and clear at a glance. Lin Feng keenly noticed that there was a big word, upgrade, behind his ability. He asked, system, but what about the upgrade? The system answers questions online. Upgrade means ability can be upgraded. The host can use reputation points to upgrade Superman's ability of Iron Man, and can also exchange for more powerful Superman templates, such as Silver Superman. The host can check the system store, the options available for exchange have been filled. Hearing this, Lin Feng opened the system store and saw Superman's various abilities exchanges. The Silver Superman template is also in the system store, but Silver Superman Exchange requires level 2 store permission and 100 million reputation points. Currently, Lin Feng has level 1 exchange authority. If he wants to upgrade to level 2 exchange authority, he needs to achieve the achievement of accumulative reputation value of 50 million. For a level 3 store, 200 million reputation points are required. The only things that can be exchanged for level 1 permissions are some small items from various universes. 
such as Superman's glasses, Aquaman's replica of the trident, Tony Stark's spent reactor. Um, Lin Feng saw a pair of black briefs with a question mark on his face, what the hell? And Black Widow's original underwear. And it only requires 10 reputation points. Poisonous. Lin Feng couldn't help complaining, and looked at his reputation again. Good guy, just enough to exchange for one. System, how do you get reputation points? Lin Feng asked weakly. There are three channels for obtaining reputation points, the system popped up and explained. First, complete the task acquisition issued by the system for the host. Second, the host's influence caused by resolving each crisis under the identity of Superman will be converted into reputation points. Third, the host's positive image in the minds of the public, as well as the public's affirmation and worship of the host's behavior, will continue to provide the host with reputation points. Just keep it simple. Quote dot dot dot. It is the host who rescued a person, and this person's gratitude and worship to the host will generate reputation points. In addition, the more people pay attention to the host, the more reputation points the host will get. Understood. This is to make me a star. Lin Feng clapped his hands and suddenly realized. I remember that Superman, who remembers the movie, is also well known in the metropolis. People even built huge amounts of personal statues for Superman spontaneously, and some streets will hang the S logo on Superman's chest. From this point of view, it is not difficult to obtain prestige points, as long as Lin Feng intervenes in the plot, and then learns from Superman to save people in danger from time to time. Over time, the gratitude of these people will become a source of Lin Feng's reputation. Like endless leaks. After learning about the system, Lin Feng started to feel itchy. Just got the Superman Man of Steel ability and can't wait to build something to test how strong I am now. Resisting the urge to punch the moon twice, Lin Feng decided to ask the system what tasks it could do now. Ding, plot mission detected. Help Tony Stark defeat Obadiah. The system is very powerful. System quest. Help Tony Stark, defeat Obadiah. Mission reward. 1 million reputation points, a black Superman battle suit. Task time limit, 3 hours. Good guy, Lin Feng is a little surprised, strengthening a Superman physique, so much time has passed. Has Tony Steel battle suit been built? Host, your original physique is an ordinary person, and it will take a little longer to safely activate the Kryptonian blood. The system answered Lin Feng's question. Lin Feng nodded, three months didn't mean anything to him, and he didn't have to go to work now. I just didn't expect it to take so long. The time limit for the task is only three hours, so it is better to complete the task before talking about other things. Immediately, Lin Feng used the supervision he had just obtained. The originally blue and white planet rapidly enlarged in Lin Feng's sight, and his eyes scanned the Earth like satellites. Lin Feng probably knew where Tony's company was located, so he quickly found Tony who was having a friendly exchange of force with Obadiah. Leaning down, Lin Feng flew directly towards Tony's position, and at the same time used his super hearing. That's all you've got. Tony was talking trash, looking for an opening for Obadiah. Tony of at the moment is wearing the improved Mark III, the original smooth and flat mechanical armor was pitted by Obadiah. Hearing that Tony was still mocking Obadiah, Lin Feng curled his lips, good guy, Tony is stinking again. On the ground, Obadiah manipulated the mecha, took a step forward, and swung a big pendulum on Tony's chest, flying Mark III directly, unable to get up for a long time. I love this battle suit. Obadiah laughed wildly and rushed forward to make up for it again. He felt that he was the only one talking about Stark Industries who was wearing the armor. Tony's Mark III was stepped on by Obadiah, sparks burst out, and then kicked out again, making Iron Man Tony perform a trapeze with a bang. Oh, Lin Feng looked at it while flying, and what he saw was a burst of toothache. It seemed to be in pain. Kankin stabilized his figure in midair, Tony Stark panted heavily, the reactor on his chest flickered continuously. Sir, energy remaining 7 inches JARVIS dutifully reminded. A shell hit, and Tony, who had little energy left, did not escape completely and was hit in the right arm. The cannonball exploded immediately, and Tony was hit and fell down. For a moment, a crazy red flickered inside the visor. The impact system has been offline, the missile has been offline, and there are multiple soft tissue bruises on the body. 
I can feel it even if you don't tell me. The pain from multiple places in his body made Tony grit his teeth. J-A-R-V-I-S, if you have any good proposals, come up with them as soon as possible. Otherwise, you'll have to arrange a funeral for your boss. Tony cursed, stalling for time by bombarding Obadiah with what little energy he had left. Sir, maybe, Mr. Lin Fung can help you. J-A-R-V-I-S said suddenly. Lin, isn't that kid floating in outer space? Tony asked panting. Sir, look up. The display inside Tony's visor suddenly marked a highlighted flight object. Tony looked up into the sky suspiciously, causing Obadiah to look into the sky too. The next moment, a human-shaped object fell from the sky at an extremely fast speed, smashing a hole in the ground between the two of them, stirring up huge amounts of smoke and dust that enveloped the audience. Sir, look up. A bright red logo suddenly appeared in Tony's mask and fell from the sky. Bump. I saw that the logo smashed heavily between the two people who were fighting in the blink of an eye. A hole was punched out of the asphalt road abruptly, and a cloud of smoke and dust enveloped the audience. A figure could be vaguely seen in the smoke and dust, who seemed to be kneeling on the ground in a strange posture. Lin, is that you? Tony Stark asked tentatively. Ahem. Hi, Tony. Unscathed, Lin Feng waved his hands to disperse the smoke and dust, and walked out of the hole. He greeted Tony Stark awkwardly. The first flight, and in order to save Tony, the speed was faster. Originally wanted to imitate Tony's battle armor style smashing the ground, and made a handsome appearance, but the landing was not very proficient. Whoa. T. F. A. K. Tony paused. His eyes swept back and forth between Lin Feng and the sky in amazement and some doubts, and finally turned his eyes to the big pit. Dude. Did you fall from space? No no no. Lin Feng quickly shook his head in denial, how could such a shameful statement be used? To be precise, it should have flown down. It's just my first flight, and I'm not very proficient. Lin Feng laughed and argued. Seeing that Tony was still looking at the hole he made, Lin Feng couldn't help it. Stop looking at this pit. It was just an accident, trust me. Lin Feng's words drew Tony's gaze back. Oh, dude, I don't even know what to say. Tony pointed at Lin Feng. You are definitely an alien. No, I'm from Earth. Lin Feng retorted. Which Earthling can fly? Tony shot back. Dot dot dot. Lin Feng was completely silent. I can explain. Without waiting for Lin Feng to explain, Obadiah who was on the side saw the two chatting as if no one was there, and immediately became angry. Hum. There was a mechanical roar, and Obadiah raised his mechanical arm to point at Lin Feng. Hey, black-haired boy. Obadiah called. Huh. Lin Feng turned his head to look. You called me. Obadiah opened the mask and nodded. I don't care what relationship you have with Tony Stark. I'll give you a minute to get out of here. As he spoke, the huge amounts of mechanical arm quickly heard the sound of shapeshifting and a small rocket launcher. You don't want to make sacrifices for this dude. Obadiah didn't fire the rocket directly and the whole Lin Feng made made him a little afraid of Lin Feng. His only target was Tony Stark, and Obadiah didn't want to provoke an unknown existence like Lin Feng. It would be great if he could leave. If not, Obadiah will try to see if Lin Feng can stop the rocket launcher. Oh, I can't promise you that. Tony gave me a villa as a reward. Lin Feng touched his chin and said in a false manner. As soon as the voice fell, there was a bang. Obadiah's rocket hit Lin Feng accurately with a trail. The cunning Obadiah blasted out without any hesitation, and immediately exploded a flower with huge amounts of, firework. Lin. Tony yelled worriedly. Lin Feng doesn't have Mark III on him, if Lin Feng dies because of this problem, Tony feels that he will live in guilt for a long time. Oh. I'm fine. Tony. Lin Feng slowly walked out of the smoke and dust. To be honest, I was taken aback when I was hit by a rocket just now. But the rocket hit the body like a tickle, it's not powerful. The corners of Lin Feng's mouth couldn't help but rise, the man of steel is really easy to use. Seeing that Lin Feng was unharmed, both Tony and Obadiah stared. Not to mention that the skin wasn't broken, under the protection of the biological force field, Lin Feng didn't even have the slightest bit of damage to his clothes. What a monster. Obadiah was shocked and angry. Boom. 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 Three rockets hit Lin Feng again regardless of front or back. 
However, it still didn't cause even the slightest harm to Lin Feng. Are you tickling me? Lin Feng pouted disdainfully, feeling a little bored. Under Man of Steel's ability, Obadiah's attack seemed boring and childish. This is not to blame for Obadiah, Superman's ability is completely unreasonable against Obadiah. Obadiah has no chance of winning in front of Lin Feng. Lin Feng squatted slightly, and said, There is an old saying in my hometown, it's not rude to be called. You also take a shot at me. As soon as the words fell, Lin Feng accelerated instantly, and punched Obadiah's chest before he had time to react. Bump. There was a huge amount of impact sound, and the huge mechanical body flew out in an instant. Lin Feng's punch directly caused a sonic boom, sending Obadiah flying tens of meters away, and embedded him in the ruins. Poor Obadiah got his lunch before he could say a few more harsh words. Superman's fist is so terrifying. Lin Feng blew his fist disdainfully, is this the end? Boring. The current steel armor is simply vulnerable to Lin Feng's fists. Maybe after the Mark 50 series in the later stage, it will be able to last a few seconds under Lin Feng's hands. J-A-R-V-I-S, did you see that? Tony, who was watching from the sidelines, asked, Lin Feng's punch was simply beyond his knowledge. It's not like what a human being can type out at all. Saw sir. J-A-R-V-I-S replied. Just now Mr. Lin Feng's punch has surpassed the speed of sound, I can't even imagine it. And Obadiah is dead, sir. J-A-R-V-I-S digitized the power of Lin Feng's punch just now and displayed it. That punch directly broke through the speed of sound, and Obadiah also died directly under this blow. The armor on the chest was dented, directly crushing the Obadians. Call. Tony took a long breath and ordered. Contact the logistics team to deal with the scene, J-A-R-V-I-S. What happened in the past two days was too outrageous, whether it was Obadiah's betrayal or the strength shown by Lin Feng's return, Tony felt that he needed to be quiet. Is my reactor still working, I mean, that? Tony pointed to Obadiah's mech lying not far away. Mr. Lin Feng's punch hit the area of the reactor just right. Okay. Tony said a little speechlessly, he had to build another reactor when he went back. Hey, Tony, how's it going? I punched you just now. Lin Feng, who ended the fight with a punch, lacked interest, and asked Tony, who was stunned for a while, running over. You're a monster, Lin. Tony couldn't help but roll his eyes. Don't deny it, I don't think anyone will doubt you even if you say you are an alien. But now is not the time to talk about it, we should leave, my people will take care of the scene, Tony said. A little later, those annoying reporters will come around again. Lin Feng nodded and asked, Okay Tony, then, shall I come to see you again tomorrow? Lin Feng also knew that Tony had just gone through a big battle and needed to rest, so he prepared to fly back to his villa without saying much. Wait, Lin, take me back to the villa, and I have some questions to ask you by the way. Tony reached out to stop Lin Feng who was about to take off, and said. Lin Feng nodded again, took a step forward and put his arms around Tony's shoulders and said, grab it. In the next second, one person and one iron soared into the sky, and quickly flew to Tony's villa, and the little pepper from at the moment was also on the way. Back at the villa, with the help of J-A-R-V-I-S, Tony took off his armor and took a pack of ice cubes and applied it to his head to reduce the swelling. Taking out a bottle of whiskey again, Tony sat opposite Lin Feng who had been waiting for a while. While waiting, Lin Feng turned on the TV, which was reporting the battle in front of the Stark industry in real time. Hey, Tony, you're famous. Lin Feng joked, pointing at the TV with a smile all over his face. I've always been famous. Tony Stark rolled his eyes and looked at the TV as well. Tonight's battle was quickly captured by the reporters. Although the reactors of the Stark group were not blown up like in the original book, these reporters were like a cat seeing a fish. They rushed to report what happened, and kept exaggerating. I don't know which bold person took the picture, it is clear and close. In the footage, Stark was seen fighting back and forth with Obadiah in his battle armor, and the reports made it to the evening news. The rapid spread of the internet has allowed this information to occupy major forums and video sites. The entire process of the event was constantly broadcast on TV. In the video, Iron Man is gradually at a disadvantage. After all,
Tony has no combat experience now, and coupled with the lack of energy in the reactor, he has no advantage in front of Obadiah. Suddenly the screen changed, and Lin Feng's figure appeared on the screen. The strange way of landing and a punch that surpassed the speed of sound directly caused the host to exclaim. Some speculated that Lin Feng belonged to a super ability user, some speculated that Lin Feng belonged to an alien, and some speculated that Lin Feng was a secret weapon of the Stark industry, but most still speculated that Lin Feng belonged to a mutant. At this situation, Tony couldn't help laughing, he looked at Lin Feng teasingly, now you are also famous. This, pretty boy was speechless, his own face was clearly visible on the screen, and Lin Feng looked a little embarrassed. I was careless, why didn't I forget to find a cloth to cover my face? But it's not a big problem, after all, you still have to show your face, otherwise where does the reputation come from? Ding, congratulations to the host for completing the task, gaining a reputation of 1 million in a black Superman battle suit. The system sounded and the task rewards were settled. Lin Feng opened the system space, and a black battle suit lay quietly inside. Black Superman battle suit. The Superman battle suit made of special materials has a unique technology for restoring physical strength and healing injuries, and at the same time has the ability to enhance the ability to absorb solar radiation. Seeing the powerful battle suit, Lin Feng's mood immediately improved, but the rewards are not just these. In this incident, the host is expected to gain a reputation of more than 1 million, and the specific reputation will have to wait for time to ferment. The system's beautiful notification sound came. Lin Feng had already left when Little Pepper returned to the villa. Tony didn't ask too many questions, but simply learned about Lin Feng's ability, and said that he wanted to give Lin Feng an ability test some other day, and he was very curious about Lin Feng's ability. Then Tony still had some finishing work to do, so Lin Feng left first. Lin Feng from at the moment is flying happily in the night sky, flying in S shape for a while, and AB shape for a while, it's just a happy comparison. Human beings have always longed to fly like birds, but sitting in an airplane and being able to fly by themselves are two completely different experiences. It is an honor that Lin Feng has been granted this privilege. Li Feng, who is flying everywhere, doesn't care whether he will be detected by radar. The reason why Tony was detected by radar was because the battle armor Tony was wearing was a big metal egg that could fly. Unlike Lin Feng, radar generally only captures objects that reflect radar waves. Taking a step back, Lin Feng wouldn't be worried even if he was discovered. They have all become Superman, do they still have to pick up and live cautiously? Lin Feng said that he couldn't do it, after all, he was only in his 20s, and his mentality was still very young. Lin Feng's mentality at the moment seems to be no different from Tony Stark's first flight into the sky. While Lin Feng was flying, he did not forget to use super hearing to cover the entire waist twister. He remembered that in the novels he had read in his previous life, there were plots where the main character saved people everywhere, and what he read Lin Feng wished that he was the one who saved people. Now that Lin Feng has enough ability, he also wants to pretend to be AB to experience what it feels like. What's more, it only took one punch to deal with Obadiah just now, and it didn't even count as a warm-up exercise, which made Lin Feng always feel that something was missing. With the blessing of super hearing, the voices of the waist twisters poured into Lin Feng's ears like a flood. Um, is Tony flirting with Pepper? Spicy eyes. Dot how did you hear this? Da da da. There is also the sound of gunfire, which seems to be the area of Hell's Kitchen, which is indeed a free country. Good guy, and domestic violence. Lin Feng continued to listen with great interest. Ah, it's still a woman beating a man. Such a miserable man. Lin Feng clicked his tongue. It's not convenient to manage other people's housework. Listen again. Lin Feng, who turned into a radio for the first time, excitedly eavesdropped on the information. However, after listening for a long time, I didn't find anyone who needed my help. Lin Feng gave up and decided to go home and sleep. However, in the next second, a scream sounded from beside his ear. Help! Lin Feng was startled and stopped in midair, isn't this coming? Following the sound, supervision passed through several buildings and soon found the source of the sound. On a cold side street about 3 or 4 kilometers away, Four or five Uji members surrounded and blocked a blonde young woman with a camera in her hand. 
Have you ever encountered such a scenario for yourself? Lin Feng clicked his tongue. He used to watch small videos, in which the foreigners always said that his hometown was very dangerous at night. Lin Feng still didn't believe it, but the facts proved that the foreign friends were right. Lin Feng swooped down and flew towards them. He didn't forget to change the call system into a black Superman battle suit. He likes this color. Flight was extremely fast, and the distance of 3 kilometers was reached in the blink of an eye. Lin Feng didn't go down immediately, but stopped in midair and started to observe. Let me go, please. I saw the young woman begging for mercy in a low voice, her tone full of panic, her eyes constantly wandering, looking for an opportunity to escape. God knows how she would rush to Hell's Kitchen to collect evidence of Gray Street's transactions. Little girl, you took pictures of things you shouldn't have taken. Still want to see the sun tomorrow. How naive. I've been in New York for so long, and this is the first time I've seen a reporter dare to go to Hell's Kitchen. It's a pity, miss, the boss said that you won't be able to see the sun tomorrow. But don't worry, before you get rid of you, you will use another way to get to heaven, trust me. Several Gray Street members grinned grinningly as they slowly approached the young woman. They were not in a hurry and enjoyed the process of persecution. The young woman was forced to keep backing away. She gritted her teeth and raised the camera in her hand, as if she wanted to use the camera as a weapon. This action was exchanged for the laughter of the Gray Street members. In the eyes of several Gray Street members, it was just a dying struggle. Seeing the arrogant Gray Street members getting closer, just when the young woman felt that she was going to die soon. Suddenly, a voice sounded from several people's heads. What's so funny about this big night? Take me one. Um. Hearing the sound, several people looked up suspiciously, and almost all of them shrank their pupils suddenly. In midair, a man wearing a tight black armor was floating, and the huge S-shaped logo on his chest was very conspicuous. Seeing the eyes of several people focus on him, Lin Feng swooped down and landed like a Tony, blocking the young woman. Very good, the ground was not smashed this time, and the vanity was greatly satisfied. Lin Feng is very satisfied. Talk, what about a big party at night? Take me one. Seeing Lin Feng flying down from the sky, several Huji members obviously regarded him as a mutant, and they all felt a little faint. Brother, mutant can't control Hell's Kitchen, you'd better leave. The leading member of Huji took out a pistol, pointed it at Lin Feng, and threatened Lin Feng sternly. I'm not a mutant. Lin Feng looked at the gun in the gangster's hand and sneered disdainfully, and provocatively said, that's it. A small pistol. As he spoke, he stretched his head forward and pointed to his head. Come on, hit here. Rockets are only for tickling yourself, who is that small firestick insulting? You asked for this. Keep your eyes open in your next life. The leader of the Gray Street members shouted. Boom. With a gunshot, the bullet accurately hit Lin Feng's forehead, and then turned into a metal bullet and fell to the ground. The scene suddenly fell silent, only the sound of bullets landing. Good marksmanship. Lin Feng joked. Boom. 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 The unbelieving members of Gray Street fired several shots, without any accident, without any effect. You're a monster. Seeing that the situation was not good, the members of Gray Street turned and scattered. Can they run faster than Lin Feng? Lin Feng rushed up and gave a B-bag to each of them, and they all fell to the ground and passed out. Poorly weak, Lin Feng sighed. Ordinary people have absolutely no resistance ability in front of Superman. After finishing off the members of Gray Street, Lin Feng made a melancholy speech. Lin Feng turned his head to look, and the protagonist tonight seemed to have not recovered. Lin Feng took two steps forward, and the young woman subconsciously took two steps back. Lin Feng had no choice but to stop, smiling, to make himself look more serious. Hi. Miss, are you okay? It's okay, it's okay. Thank you for saving me, sir. The young woman finally came to her senses and thanked her repeatedly, patting her small hands on her chest to relieve her nervousness. She breathed a long sigh of relief. Her mind was still in a mess, subconsciously she wanted to raise her phone to take a picture of Lin Feng. The young female reporter was threatened by members of Gray Street, and the handsome passers-by were eager to rescue her. This is the news that girls like to watch. Some ingredients have to be added, otherwise it will not be explosive enough. 
If Lin Feng knew that she thought so, she would definitely complain about a big-hearted workaholic. One moment she was about to be sent to heaven, and the next moment she could still be thinking wildly here. Seeing that the young woman remained silent for a long time, Lin Feng thought she hadn't recovered yet, so he waved his hand and said, Since you're fine, let's go home early, it's not safe for a beautiful woman to walk on the street at night. After finishing speaking, Lin Feng is about to fly away. Although he has super endurance, Lin Feng still feels that he should not give up his previous routine. Now he wants to go home, have a delicious meal, and then have a good sleep. After all, eating and sleeping are not just rest for Lin Feng, but more of a kind of enjoyment. Oh wait, sir, the young woman stopped Lin Feng. Is there anything else? Well, can I go to your house to stay for a night? The young woman said, her pretty face flushed as soon as she finished speaking, and she also noticed something wrong with her words. Huh. Lin Feng maintained a slightly half-squatting posture ready to fly into the sky, tilting his head and looking at the young woman with a black question mark on his face, his posture was a bit weird. No, it's not what you think it is. I took pictures of the evidence of their transactions and was discovered. My current residence must no longer be safe, so I think. Seeing Lin Feng's expression became more and more strange, the young woman pointed to the camera hanging on her chest, and hurriedly explained. The amount of information in the photos taken is too large. If I am found, if I go back, I will definitely not survive tonight. Lin Feng smacked his lips, looking a little speechless, and suddenly felt like he was going to be a nanny. Some trouble. But Lin Feng felt that since he met him, he would help if he could. It would be a pity if such a beautiful reporter was ruined by Hu Ji. For the sake of beauty, I agree to your request. Okay, I agree with you to stay for one night. Under the woman's expectant eyes, Lin Feng agreed to the request, and then under the woman's exclamation again, Lin Feng grabbed her slender waist and soared into the sky. As for why they didn't take a taxi together, Lin Feng said that it was too slow, and he couldn't justifiably hug beautiful women. Taking the young woman back to the villa, Lin Feng carefully poured a cup of hot cocoa and handed it over. Lupine, a werewolf professor, said that eating chocolate can relieve fear and tension. But I don't know if it's true or not. My name is Lin Feng, what about you? Lin Feng asked, at the moment he took a good look at this young woman, unexpectedly found that this young woman looked a bit like a movie he had seen before. It seems to be called the Fantastic Four, the invisible woman named Susan. It's just that the woman in front of him is more beautiful and moving than the invisible woman in Fantastic Four. Well, the bear is much bigger. Ah, my name is Susan. Susan Carter, I'm a reporter. The young woman took the hot cocoa and thanked her. She had just experienced a trapeze, and her emotions had not yet eased. Hearing Susan's name, Lin Feng was obviously stunned for a moment. He looked at Susan suspiciously and asked, You don't have a big brother called Reed, do you? Who is that? Susan replied suspiciously, I don't have a big brother, but I have a younger sister who is five years old this year. Susan was sipping hot cocoa while answering Lin Feng's questions, looking at Lin Feng from time to time, and lowering her head again. The light was too dim to see clearly just now, only then did Susan realize that the one who saved her was actually a big boy who looked very sunny. The lines are soft and full of powerful muscles, and the black eyes give people a deep but bright feeling. It seems that he is younger than himself. What are you looking at? Lin Feng couldn't help asking, seeing Susan pecking like a chicken. Ah, I'm sorry. Susan felt a little embarrassed after being caught. I'm just curious, I've never seen anyone who can fly. Are you a mutant? Facing Susan's question, Lin Feng seemed a little speechless, why does everyone think he is a mutant? I'm not a mutant. It's not a mutant that has super abilities. Then are you from the Sha Kingdom? Susan, who drank hot cocoa, had completely recovered. Lin Feng's black hair and black eyes reminded her of that ancient and mysterious oriental country. In my impression, only a few countries in the East can have such pure black hair and black eyes. What? Isn't it obvious? Lin Feng pinched the bangs on his forehead and joked. Black hair, black eyes, and yellow skin marked Lin Feng's identity. Well, the beautiful girl is speechless, this lifesaver, he is not very good at chatting. What was the word my little sister said to me two days ago? Correct. Straight man. This powerful oriental man is probably right, 
Susan complained in her heart. Seeing Susan being teased by him for a long time and unable to speak, Lin Feng laughed. He also poured himself a cup of hot cocoa, with the bonus of Superman's physique, he is not afraid of getting fat at all now, and can eat whatever he wants. Let's talk about you, little reporter. Lin Feng decided to find out what this female reporter had done in order to keep the atmosphere from getting cold. I'm curious what you took pictures of. I'm not a little reporter. Hearing Lin Feng teasing herself, Susan couldn't help but rolled her eyes angrily. Then he slowly told what happened. It turned out that Susan was a recent college graduate. Influenced by the reporter's parents, she was working hard to become the first sister of CBB TV station when she first entered the society. Three months ago, Stark Industries announced a ban on the sale of weapons, setting off a storm of underground transactions. Through investigation, Susan discovered that some members of Gray Street had actually prepared a large number of Stark industrial weapons for sale, many of which included missiles. This gave her a whiff of big news. In order to make some achievements as soon as possible, the hot-headed Susan went to film the trading scene of the Gray Street members without telling the TV station. However, Susan overestimated her own tracking ability and underestimated the opponent's anti-reconnaissance ability. Any member of Gray Street is not something that a small reporter can provoke. The rats in Hell's Kitchen didn't expect there to be such a fearless reporter who dared to go to them to collect so-called evidence, and immediately ordered Susan to be dealt with on the spot. But Susan seemed to have the ability to escape, slippery like a loach, and the members of Gray Street caught it several times but failed to catch it. The transaction party angrily offered a reward of 20,000 US dollars for her life. This is great, the gangsters on Gray Street have a job to do, and whoever gets her life first will get a reward of $20,000. The quick-witted Susan ran away for three days in a row, but her vigilance was greatly reduced due to the exhaustion of running for her life, and she was finally surrounded by several mice. If Lin Feng hadn't appeared today, it is estimated that Susan's life would have cost $20,000. After listening to Susan's description, Lin Feng couldn't help but look at her more. Good guy, this reporter is super brave. I would like to call you a female hero. You are so brave. Lin Feng praised with a thumbs up. Stop joking, Mr. Lin. Susan wanted to cry without tears. I don't know what to do next now, God knows how much I regret it. Susan's eyes were a little red. Speaking of sadness, two tears were shed. She is still young, and there is a bright future waiting for her. She doesn't want to die young so soon, mother will be very sad. Just call me Lin, Lin Feng said indifferently. Since it is related to Stark Industries weapons, maybe I can help a little. Lin Feng gave Susan hope in one sentence. Since he has some relationship with Tony Stark, Lin Feng doesn't mind doing a little favor. Su Shan hugged Lin Feng's arm as soon as she heard this, staring at him closely with red eyes, and asked eagerly, Really? Lin, can you really help me? Susan knew that a strange person like Lin Feng must have a way to help herself. Even if Hell's Kitchen can't revoke the bounty offered to him, he should be able to save his life. At this moment, she is like a drowning person, she will hold tightly in her hands whenever she encounters a straw. Really? Really? Let go first. Lin Feng, who was attacked by surprise, called a good guy. Is this reporter so predictable? What did you grow up eating? Nima Superman can't stand this kind of offensive. Hug, I'm sorry. Susan also realized something was wrong, and blushed and let go of her hand. The behavior just now was just subconsciously grabbing a life-saving straw. Seeing Susan let go, Lin Feng breathed a sigh of relief, before continuing, I have a good relationship with Tony Stark, he has a press hearing tomorrow. I'll talk to him about it after the meeting. You can stay here for the first two days, you can choose any guest room on the first floor. There is also food in the refrigerator, if you are hungry, make some yourself. By the way, can you cook? If not, just order takeaway. Lin Feng asked. Yes. Susan nodded, her home economics class was perfect. That's fine, now, go pick a room to wash up and sleep, little reporter. Lin Feng raised his eyebrows, he was about to go to bed himself. He originally planned to make something to eat, but after listening to the story for a long time, he seemed to have eaten melon for a long time, and he didn't want to eat anything else. 
In the future, don't take any evidence of gray streak transactions, this is not something you can bear. After explaining, Lin Feng warned somewhat sternly that in this case, he can save the first time and the second time. There are too many times, and there will always be times when Lin Feng can't catch him, and if he doesn't catch him once, he really needs to be fooled. I know. Also, I've already said that I'm not a little reporter. Susan retorted. Just graduated. Aren't you a young reporter? Lin Feng looked at Susan with disdain, and made Susan blush. Straight man. Susan stomped angrily and went to choose a room. Lin Feng was disdainful, and put away the cups on the table, a little reporter, ridiculous. Lin, Susan called. Lin Feng followed the prestige, and saw that Susan, who had chosen the room, only showed a small head looking at him. What happened again? Thank you. Boom. After speaking, Susan quickly closed the door. Lin Feng shook his head, with a smile on the corner of his mouth. The first time he saved someone, not counting Tony, it felt pretty good. After tidying up and taking a shower, Lin Feng went to sleep, and will get up early tomorrow to witness a famous scene. Lin Feng fell asleep here. Black Braised Egg worked overtime with dark circles under her eyes. Looking at the report on the table and the video on the meeting screen, Hey Meeden's complexion seemed to turn darker. Standing next to him was Phil Coulson. Phil Coulson also had two dark circles under his eyes, looking at the screen together in silence. On the screen, it was the scene of Lin Feng punching Obadiah flying. At least 10 tons of power, even dozens of tons, this punch. Phil Coulson said. None of the Captain America he admires has this power. And he can fly. I can see it, Phil Coulson. Black Braised Egg pointed to his one eye. The appearance of Lin Feng was another unexpected existence for Black Braised Eggs. In the past few days, the matter of Tony Stark has already made him very dizzy and he has never been able to find a chance to talk to Tony Stark, so Lin Feng popped up again. It seems to be friends with Tony Stark. I hope this black-haired kid won't be difficult to deal with. Black Braised Egg was thinking about it. Isn't Tony Stark going to have a press conference tomorrow morning? Will he be there? Black Braised Egg asked Phil Coulson. According to the information we intercepted, Lin Feng has already received a call from JARVIS, and there is a high probability that he will go. Hearing this, the black stewed egg nodded, and ordered, Tomorrow, you bring two people and meet Lin Feng after the meeting to test it out. I want to know if he can be part of the plan. Also, increase Lin Feng's confidentiality level, that's all for now. He refused the little reporter's request to take him to the press conference. Lin Feng drove the R8 to the press conference alone. He didn't dare to fly around in broad daylight, there were many people, unlike night, when he was wearing black clothes, people would hardly notice. Pepper here is playing with Tony's face. Cover all the wounds on Tony's face with concealer until nothing abnormal is visible. Phil Coulson is constantly explaining some details. On the TV behind him, Rhodes was making up and explaining the explosion that happened last night to a group of reporters. Here's your alibi. Phil Coulson handed Tony two sheets of manuscript paper. You were on your yacht all night last night. And sworn testimony from your 50 guests. There is evidence at the port that you were in Avalon last night and did not leave. Tony took the manuscript paper and raised his eyebrows. Very good, but I hope it's just me and Pepper. Alone on the island, Tony said, looking at Pepper Pepper, who was still working on his face, and blinked. Also, what about Lin Feng? I mean that black-haired kid. He's your bodyguard. Makes sense. Are you kidding me? Those reporters will believe this statement. Is this reason untenable? Tony had a black question mark on his face. It's okay, we do this kind of thing a lot. Phil Coulson smiled confidently. There is no other better explanation, just follow the script I gave you, and all this will pass soon. You have 90 seconds. Well, I hope Lin Feng won't punch me angrily. Tony shrugged. God knows if Lin Feng would be so stingy. Phil Coulson left temporarily, and Pepper put on the coat for Tony, and the wound on his face was completely invisible under her operations. Straightening his collar, Tony strode toward the front hall. As soon as he appeared, he shot Tony Stark with long guns and short guns. And Tony doesn't even bat an eye, he's used to it. Going up to the podium, adjusting the position of the microphone, and taking out the manuscript, Tony got straight to the point. 
Some people speculate that I was involved in the incident that happened on the highway and on the roof. Before Tony finished reading a sentence, a discordant voice appeared in the venue. Didn't give Stark Industries any face. Sorry, Mr. Stark. The blonde female reporter sitting in the front row interrupted Tony's speech very forcefully. You really think we're going to believe it's a bodyguard in a steel battle suit, showing up just in time? Tony frowned and looked at the female reporter without speaking. The female reporter continued to ask uninterestedly, there is also that human being with a punch that has at least dozens of tons of strength. Or mutant, as far as I know, he seems to be the one you brought back from the cave where you died. How do you explain if he? Tony waved his hand and directly interrupted the female reporter's question. I know you are very puzzled, but please don't question Party G's question and make crazy accusations. And Lin, he is my friend, and he is not a mutant like you guessed. But I guess I don't have to explain my friend to you. Do I? Tony's tone was tough. I have nothing to say about your question. Tony mercilessly reached out and nodded to the female reporter, signaling her to pay attention. Tony has always been a strong person, and he is not afraid of the reporter's nonsense. In the absence of evidence, it's not enough to give them a few guts, Stark Industries is not vegetarian. At this moment, Tony's aura as the helm of Stark Industries is fully open, and the overwhelmed female reporter is a little speechless for a while. The female reporter closed her mouth, Tony turned the microphone and continued to make up nonsense. He didn't realize that Lin Feng was in the audience. He was wearing sunglasses, hiding behind the reporters with a smile on his face, watching Tony Stark wrangling with the female reporter. On the stage, seeing Tony's words getting more and more outrageous, Rhodes had no choice but to lean over and whispered, read according to the script. Tony. Okay. Okay. Tony nodded, reluctantly picking up the manuscript. Regarding the events of last night, the truth is that. After reading this, Tony paused for a moment, his eyes circled the field for a week. Everyone is waiting for Tony's, truth, although it is probably another set of evasive rhetoric. After reading the manuscript again, Tony took a breath, and still said the sentence beyond everyone's expectations. I a iron n. Whoa. The hustle and bustle filled the audience in an instant, and all the reporters exclaimed and got up and huddled together, raising their microphones and asking questions loudly, and the flashlights flickered nonstop. The whole venue was in chaos. Great news. Tony Stark admits that he is Iron Man, some people can't escape the headache. With this sentence, the entire press conference reached its peak. It can be predicted that today's news is definitely the headlines. After witnessing the famous scene, Lin Feng took advantage of the chaos and left. There's nothing to see next, he's going to take a stroll outside, waiting for Tony Stark, and he needs to communicate with Tony about the little reporter. Besides, Phil Coulson searched the venue for a long time, but he didn't find Lin Feng right under his nose. Coupled with Tony's sentence that I am Iron Man, the whole audience was in chaos, disrupting Phil Coulson's plan. Helpless, he had no choice but to report to Heijudin, who was instructed to close the team temporarily, and he would go to see Tony in person in the evening. Phil Coulson had to lead the retreat. But what he didn't expect was that nothing he did escaped Lin Feng's eyes. What's even more outrageous is that he passed Lin Feng several times but didn't notice Lin Feng. Staring at Phil Coulson retreating, Lin Feng looked away. He touched the ring he exchanged from the system store in the morning, and couldn't help but like it. Plain black ring, reduces the presence of the wearer, more powerful than Superman's glasses. Bring him, your dad won't recognize you. Additional skills, can be completely invisible for 10 minutes every 24 hours, real stealth, invisible to the naked eye, can avoid heat sources, detectors and other detection equipment. It cost 300,000 prestige points. Now Lin Feng's reputation is only about 2 million, but it's not a loss. Lin Feng has already shown his true colors, if he doesn't have a disguise, how can he go out on the street in the future? Must not follow a group of reporters. What's more, the additional skill is worth 300,000 reputation points, okay. Be invisible for 10 minutes. Don't look at it for only 10 minutes, it's the true sense of invisibility, Lin Feng remembers that in the original book, Superman doesn't have this ability. This ability will bring huge amounts of convenience to Lin Feng no matter what he does. And it was this ring that reduced Lin Feng's presence to a terrifying level, 
making Phil Coulson look at Lin Feng as if he were looking at the air, and couldn't help but ignore it. If it wasn't for the fact that the skills couldn't be superimposed, Lin Feng would have bought 10 of them and worn them all over his fingers. Be invisible for 100 minutes every day. After wandering around until the evening, Tony finished dealing with the reporters and a bunch of bigwigs in the industry. But no one came up with any really useful information, and it had become an instinct for Tony to deal with them. What he doesn't want to say, it's hard for you to figure it out. The reporter got the information or only Tony Stark as Iron Man. It was Tony Stark's friend, Lin Feng, who flew the gigantic mecha with one punch. Finally sent the last batch of reporters away, and hearing that Lin Feng had something to do with him, Tony invited him to the villa for dinner. The two drove to Tony's seaside villa in a car. In the car, Lin Feng took out the photos taken by the little reporter, and briefly explained the cause and effect. Tony said that these are small things, just let him handle them. There is no need to walk around wearing steel armor at all, just let the people under you walk around. Lin Feng also nodded and agreed to this method. The Grey Street members could never be eliminated. This also involves a large number of Grey transactions. Even if Lin Feng fires a heat ray, it won't wipe out all the rats. In the world of adults, they often choose the method with the least loss. There are many rules in it, just balance. The life of the little reporter was saved in the chat between the two big bosses. After finishing the business, Tony couldn't help his mouth stink again. Hey, Lin, you know those reporters, what do they call you now? Tony smiled cheaply and winked at Lin Feng. Looking at this expression, Lin Feng knew that he was going to be a fool again. Those reporters call you Superboy. Ha 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 ha. Sounds like an underage kid. Too childish. Tony couldn't help laughing, and patted Lin Feng's shoulder teasingly. The little hot pepper in the front row suddenly turned around and mercilessly attacked. You who admit that you are Iron Man are more childish, Tony. Hey, who are you with? Tony was upset. Now Lin Feng laughed out loud. Actually, I would rather they call me Superman. Lin Feng said, the word Superboy. Lin Feng didn't know what to say. Superman. Tony read the word carefully. Not bad, but doesn't sound as good as my Iron Man. Doesn't it? How about Iron Man punching me? Oh no no no, Lin. We are friends, and fighting is not a good behavior. Tony quickly refused, he couldn't stand Lin Feng's punch, this guy had already been equated with a monster in his heart. Seeing Tony deflated, Lin Feng and Xiao Zhao laughed again. The whole car is full of joyful atmosphere. Not long after, during the conversation of several people, the car drove back to the villa. Pepper wisely found an excuse to go to the kitchen to inspect the preparation of dinner. That leaves room for two men who obviously have business to talk about. Tony and Lin Feng talked about interesting things while walking slowly towards the living room. When he walked into the living room, Lin Feng raised his brows suddenly, stopped the conversation, and looked towards the window. Seeing that Lin Feng stopped talking suddenly, Tony was also taken aback, and followed Lin Feng's gaze to look towards the window. IA Iron N. A voice came from the darkness, the voice was low and disdainful. Tony Stark, do you think you are the only superhero in the world? The figure slowly walked under the light, and when it came up, it was a blow to the horse, full of aura. Who are you? Tony Stark looked at the person with a strange expression on his face. A stranger appeared in my home, and J.A.R.V.I.S. did not remind me, which means that the other party has the ability to restrict J.A.R.V.I.S. activities. This is not good news for Tony, now he can't equip the steel armor at any time, which makes him feel a sense of crisis. But don't panic, Lin Feng is still beside him. Nick Fury, S.H.I.E.L.D. Director, Black Brazed Egg replied, his eyes focused on Lin Feng for a while longer. Tony Stark, and Lin Feng, can we sit down and talk about? Tony didn't refuse, but just walked towards the sofa with a cold face, he wanted to hear what the fool who broke into his house wanted to say. Lin Feng shrugged, he didn't care, and he could probably guess what the black stewed egg was going to say. The three of them sat down around the sofa, and the atmosphere was a little dignified. I want to talk to you about the Avengers plan. Nick Fury spoke first, with a serious face. What the hell? I'm not selling Avenger missiles anymore, you're looking for the wrong person, Tony choked. 
There was obvious teasing between the words, and the face of the black stewed egg suddenly became darker. Lin Feng turned his head away, holding back a smile. Nick Fury blackened. Be serious, Tony. This is about your future. Wow. Tony looked at the black marinated egg with his nostrils. Do I need to pay to watch the future? Lin Feng held his breath hard. He was afraid that he would laugh out loud if he didn't pay attention. Dude, as expected of Tony. Being interrupted twice, the black corned egg was obviously a little angry. He stared at Tony with one eye and didn't speak. Tony was horrified by his stare and was defeated. Okay, okay, tell me about your, that what, what plan? The Avengers plan. Black Braised Egg took a deep breath, suppressed his anger forcibly, and emphasized every word. Following the explanation of the black stewed eggs, Lin Feng and Tony understood the general meaning of the plan. To put it simply, it is to gather people with ability together to see if they can play the role of 1 plus 1 greater than 2. When the earth and mankind need it, stand up against foreign enemies, or fight against those uncertain enemies together. Tony nodded patiently and perfunctorily, but Lin Feng was interested and listened to each other. This sense of reality like participating in a movie made him feel very fresh. Probably that's it, what's your opinion? After a long while, Hey M.I. Dan finally finished speaking, and he swallowed. Tony Stark, doesn't know how to get himself a glass of water. Finished. I have a question, asked Tony Stark, who was falling asleep listening to it. Huh. Black Pork stared at Tony, beckoning him to continue. Is there anyone in your game who is stronger than him? Tony pointed to Lin Feng who was watching the show. A. The black stewed egg choked, stronger than Lin Feng. He thought about it carefully, flying down from outer space without any injuries, how can a punch have dozens of tons of strength? The captain of the United States is dead, does Captain Marvel count? But Carol is not on Earth right now. There are others, there are indeed some people with impressive super abilities, but it is estimated that they can't survive a punch in Lin Feng's hands. Seeing the black stewed egg being silent for a while, Tony's patience gradually ran out, and he waved his big hand and said, Okay. I got it. Let's be honest, I'm not interested in your Superboy organization. Tony spread his hands, looking bored. Don't look at me like that, buddy. You know I'm not talking about you. Seeing Lin Feng looking over, Tony explained helplessly, and then turned his gaze back to the face of the black stewed egg. Lin Feng and I will not join your organization, please leave now. Tony got up and chased people away. My friend and I are going to have dinner, I'm sorry, I don't have your portion. Facing Tony Stark's unceremonious expulsion, Black Braised Egg got up and left with a blank face, without too much entanglement, but left a sentence before leaving, we will meet again, it won't be long. He didn't intend to convince Tony, a tough guy, at the first meeting, he just showed his face. Tony's character is undoubtedly a tough nut to crack. Only when he shows his weakness can he convince this stubborn guy. As for that Lin Feng who has a super ability, he didn't say a word from the beginning to the end. However, during the conversation, Lin Feng showed a little emotional expression, which was keenly captured by the black spiced egg. She thought that she could find a time to talk to Lin Feng alone. Sitting in an SUV full of black technology, Black Braised Egg took out a mobile phone and dialed out, Natasha Romanoff. The vacation ended early. Natasha Romanoff. In the villa, Lin Feng pinched the center of his eyebrows, and said to Tony speechlessly, you didn't even ask me, but you helped me and refused. No. Tony asked in surprise, you're interested in that Superboy organization. Dude, stop making trouble, be mature, I'll take you to a party some other day, let you grow up. Tony patted Lin Feng on the shoulder and said. It's not that I'm interested in his organization, it's just. Lin Feng explained, forget it, just leave him alone. As for the party, he he he, when. Hearing that there was a party, Lin Feng's eyes seemed to shine, he smiled and rubbed his hands. In his 21 years of local life, he hadn't been to a party, let alone one that Tony Stark would have attended. Oh buddy, it seems that our hobbies are similar. Don't worry, we will have some soon. Tony Stark winked at Lin Feng and said, I plan to hold a party in two days to celebrate Iron Man's birth party. What? Sample. Tony Stark had a meaningful expression. I'll let you know when the time comes, young man, prepare more small umbrellas. Um, don't get me wrong Tony, 
I just wanted to see what the party was like. To be honest, I've grown up so much, I haven't been to any parties yet. Then you are so pathetic, Lin. Tony sighed, okay, let's not talk about this for now, let's go to dinner first. I need to replenish some energy after dealing with reporters all day. After eating and drinking, Lin Feng left the villa contentedly. Slowly flying in midair towards home. Only then did he remember that there was a fair-skinned and beautiful little reporter at home. I don't know if she ate or not. But with so many ingredients in the refrigerator, and she knows how to cook, she probably won't be hungry. Lin Feng, who wrote Flight, used super hearing habitually. If you are full of wine and food, it's time to eat melons. Today's waist twisters are as good as ever. Those Grey Street members in Hell's Kitchen are still rattling. Do you have a party every day? Lin Feng is too weak to complain. Good guy, the domestic violence from last time has started to repeat itself again, and it's still the scene of a woman beating a man. That fat woman is using a weapon today. There was a banging sound of pots and pans, and Lin Feng felt pain when he heard it. Lin Feng, who was eating melons, slowly returned home. As soon as the door was opened, a figure rushed up quickly. Lin Feng was taken aback. The little reporter Susan rushed up to block the door, looking at Lin Feng expectantly. How's it going, Lin? Ah, Lin Feng was speechless, can you let me in first? Susan turned sideways and let Lin Feng enter the villa. Lin Feng sat on the sofa, and Susan, regardless of the difference between men and women, sat next to him and stared at him, her eyes full of anticipation and anxiety. Ahem, oops, I seem to be a little thirsty. Lin Feng deliberately did not look at Susan's expectant eyes. Thump thump. Susan trotted to the kitchen to get a glass of water, and handed it to Lin Feng with both hands, drink water. Lin. Hem. Lin Feng took a sip of the water in satisfaction, rolled his eyes, and sighed pretendingly, oh. I've been running for a day, and my shoulders are a little sore. As he said that, he slapped his shoulders pretendingly, full of hints. In the next second, a pair of small hands climbed up and pinched Lin Feng's shoulders hard. To Lin Feng, the strength was like ants crawling. After pinching for a long time, Lin Feng did not speak, and Susan became anxious again. She simply didn't pinch it anymore, grabbed Lin Feng's shoulder and shook it back and forth vigorously. Lin, tell me quickly, what happened? Okay, okay, don't shake it. Seeing that the little reporter was about to cry, Lin Feng couldn't help laughing. He patted the little hand on his shoulder, turned around and gave her a reassuring look. Don't worry, the matter is settled. Tony Stark will send someone to deal with it tonight. You can go home tomorrow morning. Really? The little reporter Susan got the most wanted answer, wept with joy, and gave Lin Feng a big hug on the spot. While crying, he yelled, Thank you, Lin. It's embarrassing for Lin Feng now. After a day, I felt the majesty of the little reporter again. This time, being hugged to the full, there was a refreshing smell like shower gel, which made Lin Feng's nose itch, coupled with the softness of his chest, he was about to react in an instant. Second brother. Hold on. Lin Feng shouted loudly in his heart, he can't raise his gun at this time. How embarrassing. After a while, it seemed that she had cried enough. Susan's crying gradually subsided, and Lin Feng also took the opportunity to pat her on the back and pull her away. Good guy, the crying pear blossoms are raining, and the snot is coming out. Lin Feng quickly took the paper drawer and took out two pieces of paper and handed them over. In fact, I can't blame Susan for being so emotional. It's too bad to feel that her life is threatened at all times. Susan's spirit, which had been tense for several days, was about to break at any moment like a string on a piano. Now that she was finally safe, Susan couldn't help venting, her life could finally get back on track, all thanks to the big boy in front of her. Susan looked at Lin Feng seriously, and said word by word, thank you very much. Lin, you will always be my friend. Okay, okay, go wash and sleep. You can go back tomorrow. Remember not to go to Hell's Kitchen again. Unable to stand Susan's provocative words, Lin Feng scratched his head and said uncomfortably, someone may not save you next time. I see, Lin. Susan nodded. She was going back to her room to send a message to her parents. The danger in the past few days made her dare not contact her parents. I guess if I don't contact the second elder again, I will report my disappearance. 
Susan trotted all the way back to her room and opened the door, covering her body with the door, only showing a small head, the same as last night. Thank you so much, Lynn. Unlike last night, today's Susan had a smile and sincerity on her face. Got it. Go to sleep now. I'm going to sleep too. Sensing Susan's happiness and sincerity, Lin Feng also smiled back, waved to Susan, and walked back to his room. Throwing down on the bed, Lin Feng let out a weird laugh. The feeling of being thanked is really different in such a high-level spiritual food. Especially gratitude from beautiful women. It made Lin Feng feel that he had never been happy before. Lin Feng didn't know if Clark in the movie would also have such emotions. Early the next morning, just after dawn, the little reporter Susan left. She wanted to rush home to reassure her parents, and also to meet her own sister whom she hadn't seen for many days. That little girl is very clingy to me, I haven't seen her for a few days, so I guess it will take a while to coax her. Lin Feng took a late sleep and didn't get up until noon. Recently, it seems that I have been busy with other people's affairs. Lin Feng plans to stay at home today and not go anywhere. Just hit the game for a day. I looked at the time, it was already noon, and I was too lazy to cook by myself. Lin Feng took out his phone and ordered a takeaway. I have to complain, it is really inconvenient without a certain group, and I have to call the restaurant to order a meal. Picking a random pizzeria, putting down his phone, Lin Feng played a game. The super reaction makes his game operation comparable to that of a professional player, and no teammates will criticize him anymore. Lin Feng was very excited to play the game. When the game was over, the doorbell rang. Beep. Hello. Pizza delivery. Here we come. Lin Feng responded, dropped the handle and ran to open the door. I was still a little muttering in my heart. Wasn't the takeaway abroad very slow when I watched the small video before, but it's so fast to order by myself. It seems that everything in the video can't be trusted. With that in mind, Lin Feng opened the door. However, the moment Lin Feng saw the delivery man, Lin Feng's expression became weird. Sir, it's $12 in total. A pleasant female voice sounded. Hmm, okay. Lin Feng took out $12 with a half smile and took the pizza. Seeing that the delivery man had no intention of leaving at all, Lin Feng decided to cooperate with the other party to continue acting. Is there anything else? Lin Feng asked pretending to be puzzled. Oh sir, I'm very sorry, can I borrow your bathroom? You know, it's too far from the city, the delivery man explained with some embarrassment. No problem, you can do whatever you want. Lin Feng nodded in agreement. After pointing out the location of the bathroom to the delivery man, Lin Feng sat on the sofa and didn't go to the pizza, but just used the perspective ability to look in the direction of the bathroom. He didn't believe that the other party really wanted to use the toilet urgently. Dignified shield agent, Black Widow Natasha Romanoff delivering food to himself. Are you afraid you think you are a fool? That's right, Lin Feng recognized it the first time he opened the door. This delivery guy, is actually the famous Black Widow, Widow. It seems that the black stewed egg has not given up on him yet, Lin Feng crossed his legs and rested his chin in his hand, thinking. Tony has clearly rejected black marinated eggs. This sent Natasha Romanoff to touch herself, what the hell is he trying to do? Without waiting for Lin Feng to think too much, there was a sudden exclamation from the bathroom. Oh sir, my car key fell into the toilet, can you help me? Lin Feng sneered, he had been staring at Natasha Romanoff with his clairvoyant ability. I watched her dismantle the ceiling and install a black box of matchbox file size. Then throw a key into the toilet. Acting as a complete set. Worthy of being an agent, rigorous, Lin Feng likes it. Black Widow Natasha Romanoff had no idea that his every move was being watched clearly. She was expressionless at the moment, but she spoke in a shy tone. Want to test young people with this? Lin Feng sneered again, since you want to act, then I will accompany you to act. Here I come, cutie. Lin Feng put on a picture of Brother Pig in an instant, and went straight to the bathroom. Opening the door, Natasha Romanoff had a bewildered expression on her face. Paired with the uniform of the delivery staff, it looks cute. Lin Feng showed a distressed expression, and rushed forward to give him a bear hug. He was still comforting in his mouth. Oh. Little cutie, don't worry. 
Isn't it just the car keys? If you drop it, you will drop it, I will buy you a four-wheeled one. Lin Fung quickly pressed the toilet flush button. His toilet is a high-level product, it's just a key, and it's not too easy to flush it down. Natasha Romanoff, who was acting in a full set, was overwhelmed with astonishment, and her masculine breath came to her face. Before she could react, Lin Fung knocked down her car keys. Immediately, Natasha Romanoff was stunned. Why didn't she play the cards according to the routine? A bear hug made Natasha Romanoff forget all the words. Not even two pushes to push the guy away, Natasha Romanoff had to pull her weapon from the back of her hair. A small, high-powered electric shocker. Little brother, go to sleep. What the hell? Lin Feng snatched it quickly with quick eyesight. Natasha Romanoff's pupils shrank, so fast. Prick, prick. Lin Feng pressed the black box, and an electric current sounded. How could you have such a dangerous thing? Lin Feng shouted pretendingly. How can a girl bring such a dangerous thing? Leave it to me for safekeeping. Let me see if there are any more. Lin Feng said, moving his big hand back and forth on Natasha Romanoff's body. Enough. Sensing that Lin Feng's hands were getting more and more outrageous, Natasha Romanoff took out a small pistol from between the two big bears and angrily pressed it on Lin Feng's head. As an agent, she already understands that she has been tricked, and the mission goal in front of her is probably to know herself. Sure enough, seeing Natasha Romanoff took out a pistol, Lin Feng stopped the movement in his hand. He let go of Natasha Romanoff and took two steps back, his eyes full of mischief. Didn't Nick Fury tell you, pistols don't work on me? Miss Natasha Romanoff Romanoff. Natasha Romanoff's expression became serious, you really know me. Lin Feng pouted, I know a lot. I even know why you will disappear in a few years. Put away your fire sticks, I can't even tickle them. After saying that, Lin Feng turned around and walked back to the living room, throwing the pizza into the trash can on his own. Needless to say, it is definitely Natasha Romanoff's special pizza with toppings, although narcotics and the like have almost no effect on Lin Feng. But Lin Feng didn't want to eat this obviously problematic thing either. But I have to say, Miss Widow's figure is really great, Lin Feng sighed secretly. Natasha Romanoff put away her gun and sat opposite Lin Feng, staring closely at the relaxed Lin Feng without saying a word. Come on, it took so much time to send so many people. Why are you looking for me? Lin Feng curled his lips. His clairvoyant eyes had already seen that the villa opposite his house was already filled with live ammunition. Agent. If it weren't for Natasha Romanoff's sake, he would have already hit a heat ray. I can't understand what you're saying. Seeing Natasha Romanoff's denial, Lin Feng pointed at the opposite villa and laughed. 65 agents, all armed to the teeth. There's even a heat sensor, do you see what I'm talking about now? How do you know? Natasha Romanoff's face sank again, and her first reaction was that there was a traitor in S.H.I.E.L.D. Lin Feng didn't explain, but just looked Black Widow up and down, and said with a little ambiguity, Black Lace, my sister has good taste. Natasha Romanoff's pupils shrank, and she subconsciously covered her body with her hands, you know how to see through. But in the next second, Natasha Romanoff, who reacted, took her hand away and lifted her hair generously. Then little brother, do you like black lace? Who is Natasha Romanoff? The famous black widow, there are many examples in the agent career that need to sell the hue to complete the task. Seeing that Natasha Romanoff started acting like a demon again, Lin Feng got a little impatient. Although he likes good looking young ladies, he also dislikes this kind of behavior with obvious purpose. I said Natasha Romanoff agent, what did your chief send you here for? Do you want to investigate my personal preferences? Lin Feng continued, I don't have so much free time to play house with you. If you have anything to say, please tell me quickly. Don't think that my patience is very good. Well, it was indeed Nick Fury who asked me to come. Now that it was exposed, Natasha Romanoff simply admitted. The mission objectives are too powerful, and there are some unbelievable abilities. Some of your own tricks may seem to the other party to be some cleverness, so it is better to talk about it directly. S.H.I.E.L.D. needs people with ability to join. We have many unknown enemies, and we need to prepare as soon as possible. Natasha Romanoff tried to make her eyes look sincere. I'm not interested, didn't Tony say that last time? 
Lin Feng spread his hands, he really didn't have much interest in that shield that was riddled with holes. Like Tony, I don't want to join your Superboy organization. Lin Feng continued. No, you are different from Tony. Natasha Romanoff stood up, took out a card and threw it to Lin Feng, saying, you are more dangerous than him, I hope you will consider this suggestion carefully. The above is my contact information, I hope you make the right choice, little brother. After speaking, Natasha Romanoff raised an eyebrow at Lin Feng, winked at Lin Feng, and left. The task that Black Braised Egg gave him was not intended to be one in one go. Talents need to be invited many times. If you show your face this time, you can at least talk about something deeper when you meet again next time. The card was still warm, after thinking about it, Lin Feng still put it away. He really wasn't planning to join any Avengers program, at least not right now. Lin Feng doesn't like being controlled by others, he likes freedom. Perhaps, being an external employee is a good choice, you pay, and I will do things. This method is acceptable to Lin Feng. Lin Feng thought so in his heart, let's talk about it next time if there is a chance. In the original book, Tony chose to join the Avengers in the end. We all know the truth that more people are more powerful. Lin Feng is no exception. It seems that Nick Fury suddenly appeared, and Tony Stark felt a lot of inconvenience in putting on and taking off the Mark armor. If someone with malicious intent broke into his home next time, would he still have to give him time to wear the Mark armor? The more Tony thought about it, the more he felt that he didn't feel safe enough. So Tony has been researching portable models recently, and finally made the Mark V, which can be folded into the shape of the smallest suitcase. For this reason, he even came here to show off to Lin Feng, leaving Lin Feng speechless for a while. Lin Feng was not idle either. In order to gain more reputation points, he constantly wandered in the gray areas of the Waste Twister's various areas. Wherever there is danger, there is Lin Feng, and when something happens, he can run faster than the operators of Bureau J. Often a large number of operators arrive at the scene, and Lin Feng also solves the scene. This made the Waste Twister authorities love and hate, but they couldn't stop it. For a moment, wearing a black tights, a cloak behind him, and a big S-shaped logo on his chest, the name of Superhero resounded throughout the Waste Twisters. His name is Superman. From time to time on TV, Superman can be seen saving a chemical plant from a fire. The freighter teetering in the storm docked safely under the shelter of Superman. Today's Superman has saved children who are about to fall and so on. Formidable strength, handsome appearance, and enthusiasm to help the masses, Lin Feng quickly gained a large number of fans. It even has its own fan forum. The prestige value is also rising steadily. During this period, the young reporter Susan came to the door again, and she expressed that she wanted to take pictures of Lin Feng's rescue at the scene. Because the photos about Superman on the internet are either very blurry, or the angles are very unprofessional, which cannot fully highlight the image of Lin Feng. So she wanted to shoot with Lin Feng, and also complete her work performance by the way. Lin Feng immediately said that there is no problem at all, and the higher the exposure, the more prestige points can be obtained. And it's a matter of mutual benefit, just telling Susan to make herself look more handsome. Susan didn't disappoint Lin Feng either. In order to become a reporter, she specially signed up for photographer training. Every photo is eye-catching and full of weight, which makes Lin Feng very satisfied. After a period of time, the two of them during the day were almost inseparable. The two young people were together every day. After a long time, it was inevitable that they would have some other thoughts. However, the two of them haven't figured it out yet. With the exposure of various incidents about Superman, for a while, Superman's voice and topic heat overwhelmed Iron Man, making Tony Stark feel a little jealous and envious. As for Susan, who can take photos of Superman every time, she quickly became a treasure of CBB TV station. All kinds of dazzling welfare packages are all over the head, and the conditions are for Susan to open at will, for fear that Susan will be poached by other TV stations. This made the little reporter happy for a long time, and he directly regarded Lin Feng as his good friend and noble person in his heart. On this day, another out-of-control children's school bus was rescued. As usual, Lin Feng and Susan sat in a coffee shop and admired the photos they had just taken. 
In the photo, Lin Feng holds up the runaway school bus with both hands. The happy scene of Lin Feng squatting surrounded by a group of elementary school students. There is also a broad back that flies into the sky after solving the incident. Under the blue sky, the smiles of the rescued children, and the smiles of Superman in a black battle suit. I'm afraid that this photo will win a prize if it is cast. Susan glanced at the photos, sighing from time to time, Lin. Every time I see you displaying your ability, I feel incredible. You are really, really powerful. Susan was not stingy with her praise and admiration, and a shining, little star, appeared in Lin Feng's eyes. He he he, it's not very powerful. Lin Feng scratched his head in embarrassment and said modestly. In my heart, I jumped up and shouted, Cool. Lao Su is number one in the world. After browsing the photos, Susan took a sip of coffee, suddenly thought of something, and became a little awkward, looking at Lin Feng several times before hesitating to speak. What's the matter? Susan, Lin Feng also noticed this, and asked with some doubts. Lin. Susan's cheeks were slightly flushed, she took a deep breath, and said as if she had made a decision, after get off work tomorrow, can you go shopping with me and watch a movie? After speaking, he looked down at the coffee without moving, waiting for Lin Feng's reply. Bang bang bang, Lin Feng keenly noticed that Susan's heart was beating faster. What happened? I got sick, it's not quite like. Seeing Susan's shy posture, Combined with her words, Lin Feng pondered for a while, and seemed to have some understanding in his heart. Seems to understand, but not sure, and finally asked tentatively, Are you, wanting to date me? Susan blushed even more when she heard Lin Feng's straightforward question. He even shouted in his heart that Lin Feng is a straight man, why did he just say it? I'm going to go back and hand over the photos to the TV station. Goodbye. After leaving a word, Susan blushed and ran away with a whoosh, leaving Lin Feng alone in the coffee shop in a daze. D. I'm really convinced, host, are you as straight as a man of steel? The system's voice popped out, cursing in a tone of hatred. A. Dog system, what do you say? Since Lin Feng earned more and more reputation points, the system seemed to have evolved from a monkey to a human with more and more emotions, and gradually developed to be able to interact with Lin Feng the degree of scolding. That little girl obviously likes you. People are embarrassed to say it, but you are fine. Are you going on a date with me? The system said imitating Lin Feng's tone cheaply. Lin Feng clenched his fists and spouted, can you stop imitating me? I really want to punch you. And it can't be my fault. I have been single for almost 22 years, and I have no experience. Lin Feng forcefully argued. Are you proud of being single for 22 years? The system greeted contemptuously. Do you know why you are single? Take a look at your steel problem. Okay, okay, my fault, let's go. Lin Feng sighed, he has never won a few fights with the system. Dot and dating, really can't. Can't date, it's easy to handle, this is for you. With a bang, the system directly shoved a book into Lin Feng's hand, with four large characters on the cover dating tips. Sincerely 100 prestige points, thank you for your patronage. Nima, Lin Feng couldn't complain anymore, I didn't want to exchange this thing. Didn't you say you gave it to me? Robber, it was getting late, the street lights on the side of the road were gradually turned on, the number of pedestrians on the street gradually increased, and the small cafe became more and more lively. Lin Feng walked out of the coffee shop, and walked towards his home like a walk. In my mind, I can't control the memories of these days spent with the little reporter Susan. The young reporter's appearance is undoubtedly very beautiful, with slightly curly long golden hair hanging softly on her shoulders, her green eyes are like clear lake water, her fair skin has no blemishes, and her figure is also excellent. The place that should be warped is warped, and the place that should be thin is thin. It can be said that it grew out of Lin Feng's aesthetics. Do you want to ask Lin Feng if he likes it? Lin Feng can only say that the little reporter's smile is very touching. Thinking about it carefully, the two of them have never been in a relationship until now, and they both have good looks. Boys are strong and handsome, girls are pretty and lively. The personalities are quite compatible, if you say that there will be no sparks in the collision, then it is really impossible. I don't know when, both of them are used to taking photos, they will choose a coffee shop, enjoy the photos they just took while drinking coffee. 
No one noticed that the boundaries between friends began to become a little blurred. Lin Feng, who has been single for 21 years, realized at this moment. It is said that people who live in blessings do not know their blessings, and those in the authorities are confused by those who are on the sidelines. From the perspective of the third perspective, don't I and Susan look like a couple? Mother, I might be getting divorced. Lin Feng burst into tears. He took out his cell phone, found Susan's number, typed quickly with his fingers, typed and deleted, deleted and typed. In the end, only eight unpromising characters were printed. Get off work tomorrow. I'll pick you up. Yahoo. After sending the text message, Lin Feng excitedly ran to a place where no one was around, put on a battle suit and soared into the sky, drawing S and B shapes all the way and flying towards home. The next day, Susan came to the TV station to start her day's work as usual. The TV station is on the 31st floor, and Susan's seat is by the best floor to ceiling windows. Looking up, most of the waist twisters can have a panoramic view. Colleagues who came and went past by Susan's desk, all cast envious eyes. Now Susan seems to have the style of a TV station pillar, even if the current first sister sees Susan, she will take the initiative to say hello. Who made Susan and the Twisters superhero, Superman familiar? However, Susan was very clear-headed, and she was not arrogant and domineering because of this. She always treated her colleagues with a smile, and basically helped her with every little favor she could. And even willing to share some Superman tidbits with them. It is simply a treasure in everyone's heart. All kinds of small gifts are also piled up on Susan's desk, all of which are thanks to her from those who have been helped. She turned on her computer and started her day's work. There is also a newspaper under the TV station, and Susan is writing articles for the front page content of the newspaper. From the computer, I retrieved the photos taken yesterday. On the screen, Lin Feng's sunny smile is very contagious. So handsome. How can you have such a beautiful smile? She couldn't help touching the computer screen, and Susan had a silly smile on her face. In Oriental dialect, it should be that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Quietly took out the phone, and read the text message from Lin Feng last night again. After get off work tomorrow, I'll pick you up. The eight characters that are extremely unnutritious, I don't know why Susan can't get enough of them. Lin Feng from at the moment is sitting on the sofa at home, holding a book, his eyes are shining brightly. While watching seriously, I am amazed from time to time, as if opening the door to a new world. Still muttering non-stop. So there is such an operation. Tisk tisk. Long experience, long experience. While flipping through the pages, Lin Feng was excitedly looking forward to the evening date. How is it? 100 reputation is not a loss. The system's lazy voice sounded. It's okay. Hearing the dog system coming out, Lin Feng immediately suppressed his smile, and pretended to forcefully said, that's all, 10 prestige is not bad. Guapi, I wish you a failed date. The system stuck out its middle finger and stopped making any sound. Cut, failed. I don't have these two words in my dictionary. Pretty boy disdainfully. After carefully rehearsing the appointment process in his mind, Lin Feng is confident in his appointment tonight. First, book a restaurant. Ask for a slightly higher grade, comfortable environment, suitable for two people. So the question is, what does Susan like to eat? Lin Feng's terrifying memory was used to the extreme at this moment and the pictures of getting along with Susan clearly appeared in his mind one by one like photos. He keenly noticed that there was a row of small fish pendants on Susan's keychain, at least three or four were strung together. Lin Feng has seen this pendant, which was given to customers by a cheap restaurant specializing in seafood dishes. The fishing boat that Lin Feng rescued last month also had this sign on it. Susan has several pendants, proving that Susan has been to this restaurant more than once. That said, Susan loves seafood. Lin Feng is like Conan possessed at this moment. Lin Feng took out his mobile phone and searched for more famous seafood restaurants. He deliberately chose Chinese-owned restaurants. He wanted to take Susan to experience how a mysterious oriental chef cooks seafood. There are so many seafood recipes in my memory, and the taste is even more unique. The unique cooking skills of oriental chefs, I believe Susan should have a good experience. Hello. Hello, I want to book a table. For two people, Lin Feng called a restaurant. 
Excuse me, sir, our seats are fully booked. You can reserve a seat for tomorrow. There was an apologetic voice on the phone, in friendly Chinese. Oh, no need for now. Lin Feng hung up the phone and sighed in his heart, good guy, as expected of a restaurant opened by a compatriot, is the business so hot? It's not even lunch time, and the dinner seats are all booked. Lin Feng didn't care, and called several seafood restaurants one after another. Unexpectedly, there were no seats left for Lin Feng to watch. If you can't make an appointment, you won't be able to pay more. Lin Feng was dumbfounded. What's the situation? Is business really so hot? Who said that the road of love is full of thorns? Getting off on a first date. Lin Feng held the phone and fell into deep thought. Sure enough, falling in love is not that simple. Huh, how did you forget him? Lin Feng, who had thought for a long time, suddenly slapped his thigh and dialed a number again. Sir, Mr. Lin Feng is calling. In the workshop, Tony was busy repairing his armor helmet when the voice of J-A-R-V-I-S suddenly sounded. The homework in Tony's hands paused, and he ordered, huh? Take it in. Hey, Tony. A virtual screen popped up in the studio, and Lin Feng's big face appeared on it. Yo, isn't this our superhero? Tony joked, why didn't you save the world today? Hey, Lin Feng was speechless, it's been a while since Tony's tongue was still so venomous. Superman needs to rest too. You, haven't you gone out to fight the evil in your mouth recently? Lin Feng countered. Tony didn't like this at all, he raised the helmet in his hand to signal, my armor is going to be upgraded again. Let them live for a while. After finishing speaking, he flaunted again, this time the armor will have a faster speed. It will be stronger and more convenient to wear. Facing Tony's showing off, Lin Feng snorted coldly with disdain, upgrade, upgrade, still can't catch my punch. Bring back around. Okay buddy, what do you want me to do? Tony was a little numb, and didn't want to hear Lin Feng's voice anymore. If it's okay, I'll hang up, I'm still busy. Definitely something's up Tony. It's still business. Lin Feng briefly described the matter of going on a date tonight. Tony, who had no interest at first, found out that this was Lin Feng's first date, and instantly had a playful and weird smile on his face. That's it. You've found the right person. Tony's nostrils turned to the sky. If Tony was good at anything other than technology, it would be picking up girls. Leave it to me to arrange it. I'm good at this kind of thing. Tony snapped his fingers. I promise to arrange it clearly for you. Well, Tony, this is the first date in my life. It's up to you. Lin Feng solemnly repeated, afraid that Tony would mess with something. No problem, I will arrange a special program for you tonight. Make sure you two will never forget tonight. After finishing speaking, Lin Feng hung up the phone without waiting for Lin Feng's response. Hey, Pepper, where are you? After hanging up the phone, Tony clapped his hands and shouted upstairs, Our little Superman is in love. Need your help. Beep. The clear ringtone of the mobile phone came, Susan sighed, and turned on the screen to have a look. Have not been off work yet. Sure enough, it's our little Superman again, Lin Feng. Susan can't remember how many times Lin Feng sent this message. But she didn't have the slightest impatience in her heart, it was just a little funny. Patiently replied to the text message again, Susan looked at the time, it was 4 o'clock, and there was still an hour to get off work. The work has basically finished, and today's work is coming to an end, Susan decided to have a cup of coffee to refresh herself. The working salary of the TV station is very good. In the office area where Susan works, there are two coffee machines and several small refrigerators full of various snacks for everyone to eat for free. Hmm. After sitting for a long time, the waist will inevitably feel a little uncomfortable. Susan beat her slender waist while making coffee. Her job is not to go out to take pictures, but to come back and sit and write copywriting. It stands to reason that going out for a run is considered exercise, and the back pain can only be blamed on the hard office chair. I have reported it a few times, and the stingy boss doesn't know how to change it. Susan complained in her heart. Dang 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 dang. Susan. A wretched man held up a large lumbar pillow and appeared in front of Susan like a ghost. Ah. John, what are you doing? The unsuspecting Susan was taken aback, turned her head and asked angrily. Susan's voice attracted the attention of colleagues. 
Some colleagues looked over here and continued to work with their heads down. However, the work at hand slowed down, and Yu Guangjun glanced here intentionally or unintentionally. Everyone is like a bright mirror in their hearts, and there are melons to eat. That wretched man is John, the eldest nephew of Mr. Tai. It's not a day or two since the first day Susan joined the job and began to pursue her fiercely. Susan ruthlessly rejected each time. John didn't expect to scare Susan either. He originally wanted to surprise Susan, but now Susan seemed to be frightened, his fat face was full of embarrassment. Sue, Susan, I just want to give you a pillow that can be placed behind your waist. John raised the carefully selected green pillow with his stubby arms, this way you won't feel your waist tired. No, no need. Susan waved her hands repeatedly and refused, thank you for your kindness, and please call me Miss Carter. After speaking, Susan didn't want to look at John anymore, picked up the coffee and wanted to leave. She can see this wretched man wherever she can. I heard from some colleagues that there are three or four people who have innumerable relationships with John on the radio station. Susan had always kept this kind of person at arm's length. Susan. John's voice raised a little, and he took a step forward to stop Susan, who almost lost her footsteps and bumped into his arms. What the hell are you going to do? John's ignorance has already made Susan a little angry, and her delicate little face is also stiffened, as cold as ice. There was a glint of haze in John's eyes, which were almost invisible due to the fat squeeze. His voice became low, I want to invite you to have dinner together tonight. I know there's a nice new steakhouse nearby. I'm sorry, I have an appointment tonight. Susan interrupted blankly, the disgust in her eyes couldn't be hidden. After finishing speaking, Susan walked around John with coffee and left quickly, leaving only John's back. Susan's curvaceous back made him feel dry for a while. John didn't stop him anymore, he just looked at Susan's back with a gloomy and scary look. The pillow in his hand was almost shape-shifted by him. This was the seventh time he gave Susan a gift. Whether it was flowers or jewelry, expensive or practical, Susan refused all of them without a second glance. His patience is about to run out. This scene was also watched by colleagues on the TV station. Almost every group has its own melon-eating group. At the moment, colleagues who love to eat melons have stopped working and started discussions in the melon-eating group. That fat man is chasing Susan again. I don't know where he got the courage from. Doesn't he know that Susan doesn't like green? And gives Susan a green pillow. I don't even look at his appearance, do you really think that a beautiful woman with beast will happen to him? With a few filthy money, you think all women have to lick him. I guess if he wasn't the boss's nephew, he would have been kicked out of the company long ago. How many times has he courted Susan? The 17th this month. The staff were happily eating melons. John has returned to his office. His office is on the upper floor. It is a specially built soundproof office for John and his girlfriend to do some favorite things. Definitely, girlfriends basically change every month. As soon as John entered the door, he yelled angrily and threw things down when he saw them. John, who had been beaten for a long time, slumped on the chair and panted violently. Long-term indulgence made his face covered with pimples, and his complexion was vain. I've never seen such an ignorant woman. But because you took two more photos of Superman, what qualifications do you have to reject me? John cursed inwardly, and his face grew more and more gloomy. After a while, John's face returned to calm after venting. It doesn't matter. He usually has another plan to deal with women who don't like oil and salt. Comma 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 comma. Finally, when it was time to get off work, Susan stretched her waist and turned off the computer. Ding. SMS rings again. Susan. I'm downstairs at your company. Come down. Susan, who saw the text message, couldn't help laughing. At 5 o'clock, the big boy took the time to send a text message. Why does it feel like the usually stable boy is so frizzy today? Here we come. Responding to a text message, Susan took out a small makeup mirror, quickly put on a light makeup, and then walked towards the elevator. The waist twister after 5 o'clock is the peak time for getting off work, and countless office workers rushed to the street, looking for where to eat dinner. After saying hello to the colleague she met by chance, Susan walked out of the building, looking around for Lin Feng with her beautiful eyes. Hey, Susan. A familiar voice sounded behind him. 
Susan turned around, and Lin Feng's big face almost touched her own. Wow, what are you doing? Susan took two steps back subconsciously, her pretty face flushed, and she blamed. Dang dang, Lin Feng didn't answer, but stretched out his hands and drew a circle in the air. Touch, in the next second, a large bouquet of roses appeared in Lin Feng's hands out of thin air as if by magic. Lin Feng at the moment, like a gentleman, gracefully handed the rose to the stunned Susan, for you, beautiful Miss Susan. Oh my god, is this magic? Susan took the roses in surprise, took a sip of the flowers, and almost ran away half of the exhaustion after a day's work. Lin, how do you know that I like roses? This is a secret. Lin Feng winked at Susan pretending to be mysterious, then bowed slightly, and extended a hand to invite. Beautiful Miss Susan, may I have the honor to invite you to dinner? Susan blushed again, pretending to be calm and stretched out her hand. Definitely yes, my big boy. The accelerated heart rate betrayed Susan. Although there are some old-fashioned dating plots, it is full of freshness and throbbing for the two who are both dating for the first time. Lin Feng smiled slightly, took Susan's white and soft hand, and walked to the side of the road. Parked there was a Rolls Royce that Tony had prepared for the two of them, driven by Happy. Happy was not happy at first, but when he heard that he was driving for Superman, his attitude changed drastically. Not everyone has the opportunity to give Superman, and Happy, who is obsessed with Superman's powerful power, is also a member of the Superman Forum. Lin Feng carefully opened the car door for Susan, and the two got into the car one after the other. The flying statuette set off slowly, heading towards a seafood restaurant. Oh, did you see that? Susan got into that luxury car. In front of the office building, several of Susan's colleagues witnessed this scene with their own eyes, and they all exclaimed. Is that her boyfriend? He's so young, and he looks so sunny when he smiles. And most importantly, so rich. Did you catch it? Send it to the group, let's eat melons together. Eat melons without forgetting your friends, what a capable colleague. As soon as the photo was sent to the small group, there was another diving party. The group was boiling, envious envy, sour. Hee hee, it can't be a rented car, can you afford to drive a Rolls Royce at such a young age? A green tea soured with envy. Please, can't he be the rich second generation? Some people couldn't stand it any longer, and said a word. What do you guys do? Don't you usually do your homework? Doesn't that car's license plate look familiar? I know. It's the license plate number of Stark Industries. My god, the ones who can get this kind of treatment are probably shareholders, right? Or her boyfriend is Tony Stark's illegitimate son. Am I the only one who wants to laugh now? I want to see John's expression after he knows this. Want to see plus one. Regardless of what the people who eat melons think, the young couple have at the moment officially started their dating schedule. Happy. Susan, who was sitting in the car, saw the driver and called out in surprise. Hi. Miss Susan, hello. Happy turned around and greeted politely, then turned to look at Lin Feng. Mr. Lin. Happy greeted Lin Feng with some excitement. It's shameful to say that he is not only a member of the Superman Forum, but also a veteran of the Forum. Happy also imagined that if he also had Superman's ability, Mr. Stark would not be hurt in any way. Oh, Tony Stark's loyal driver and bodyguard. No, why is he here? Susan turned to look at Lin Feng who was sitting beside him in doubt. Isn't Happy Tony Stark's driver? As a reporter, Susan still knows a little about the relationship circle of celebrities. Did you forget that I told you that Tony Stark is my friend? Lin Feng replied with a smile. So you two have such a good relationship. I thought it was just a casual acquaintance. Susan was indeed a little surprised. I thought they were just ordinary friends, but I didn't expect Tony to lend Lin Feng his personal driver. It's not important, is it? Lin Feng smiled and shook his head, then said to Happy, Drive, Happy. I know you're very tired after working all day, so let's go to eat first, and then go shopping, okay? Lin Feng smiled, winked at Susan and said, Guess what we're having for dinner tonight? Some childish guessing games, Happy pouted, started the car, he is just a driver now, so he won't say much. Could it be that new steakhouse? The steak restaurant Susan mentioned by that annoying John also knows that it is a well-known online celebrity restaurant, and the owner has captured a large number of fans by virtue of his handsome way of spreading salt. 
The leaflets have been sent to Susan, and Susan has also seen it in the short video. But to be honest, Susan doesn't like steak. But if Lin Feng invited him, he would still give it a try. No, I know you don't like steak, Susan. Lin Feng smiled confidently. Just kidding, it's embarrassing to say, Lin Feng bought the manual about Susan's preferences from the system, and spent a total of 300 reputation points. The dog system that takes advantage of the fire. How do you know I don't like steak? Susan was pleasantly surprised and puzzled. She glanced at Lin Feng's black hair, and asked tentatively, then I guess, it's oriental food. Hmm. Lin Feng pondered for a while, it's not entirely accurate either. What is that, is it seafood? Not entirely accurate either. Lin. Susan was a little anxious after failing to guess correctly several times in a row. There was a hint of coquettishness unconsciously in the tone, which made Lin Feng feel distracted for a while. This made Lin Feng, a beginner, a little bit overwhelmed. Okay, okay, it's seafood, and it's also an oriental dish. Lin Feng revealed the answer with a smile. Today, I will show you seafood from the oriental cooking method. Susan's eyes lit up when she got the answer. She thought of a super famous and expensive seafood restaurant. It can't be the famous oriental Penglian, right? Under Susan's expectant eyes, Lin Feng nodded affirmatively. Oh. My god, Susan exclaimed, I know that one, it's super expensive. The oriental restaurant ranks first among the restaurants that waist twisters want to go to most. Susan's big eyes were full of expectations. God knows how much Susan, who loves seafood, wants to taste it once. But the price of that oriental restaurant is too high. Moreover, that restaurant hardly accepts reservations from ordinary people, and generally only accepts nobles, government officials, and bosses of top groups. Did you really make an appointment for Penglian, Lin? I remember they don't accept appointments for ordinary people. Susan asked. Seeming to have thought of something suddenly, she then looked at Lin Feng suspiciously. Oh my god, don't tell me you're going to become a superman. Susan suddenly covered her mouth, and unconsciously glanced at the driver's seat. She suddenly remembered that there was a driver in the car, and almost slipped her mouth. Susan reached out and drew an S shape in the air, which was the logo shape on Superman's chest. If Lin Feng used the identity of Superman to make an appointment, the restaurant would definitely not refuse. Lin Feng shook his head and smiled wryly, what do you think? How could you use that identity to make an appointment? At the moment the vehicle is waiting at the traffic lights. Happy couldn't help but tilt his head slightly and explained, Miss Susan, Mr. Lin is a shareholder of Stark Industries. At the same time, Mr. Lin is also a very good friend of Mr. Tony. I don't think there is any restaurant in Waste Twister that would be so open-minded as to reject Mr. Lin. What? Susan opened her mouth wide and turned to look at Lin Feng with surprise in her eyes. You are still a shareholder of Stark Industries. She knew that Lin Feng was very rich. After all, Lin Feng lived in a villa of 600 square meters, which was why Susan was not surprised to see Rolls Royce pick up the car. But she really didn't expect that Lin Feng was so rich. Stark Industries, you just have to write good money on your face, okay. Lin Feng nodded, he did have some shares of Stark Industries, which was given to him by Mr. Tony. Susan stopped talking, she felt that this big boy was like a treasure, and you will always find new gems inside. She began to look forward to today's dishes. Happy's driving skills are very stable, and he quickly arrived at the seafood restaurant with the two of them. In the warm hospitality of the restaurant, Susan tasted seafood dishes from the east for the first time. The oriental chef with superb cooking skills has almost mastered the way of seafood. After a meal, Susan only felt that it was worth it. The dazzling array of dishes, as well as novel tastes that she has never experienced before, gave her a new concept of food. After waiting for the two to eat and drink enough, the waist twister has arrived at the brightly lit night. The two spent a full six-figure dollar. Susan gave this dining experience a nine, which couldn't be higher. She was afraid that Lin Feng would be proud. The two were sitting in the car on the return journey, Lin Feng shamelessly moved to Susan's side. Susan noticed his little move, gave him a blank look, and didn't refuse. She selected a few well-taken food photos and sent them to her personal homepage. Susan's homepage is only followed by her good friends and family, and she wants to share this experience. 
Just less than two minutes after sending it, her cell phone started ringing nonstop. Picking up the phone and looking at it, it was Susan's best friend, Kay. Kay's news came one after another like cannonballs. Susan, which restaurant did you go to? Oh my god, I heard they said that a luxury car picked you up from get off work today, I still can't believe it. You are not attracted by some mysterious big boss, are you? Also, why didn't you call me for such a good thing? Kay's questions are getting louder and louder than the last one. Susan looked speechless, what the hell is going on? What are you talking about, Kay? Susan's two slender fingers quickly slid across the screen. It's a friend. My friend took me to eat. Next time I have a chance, I will take you there. Are you driving a Rolls Royce to pick up your big boss? Kai obviously didn't want to let Susan go, and continued to ask. I'll ignore you if you talk like that again. Susan blushed slightly, this best friend of the Melon King really dared to say anything. A really good friend took me there, so don't guess anymore. Susan found a photo of Lin Feng taken during the meal and sent it to Kai. In the photo above, Lin Feng is carefully peeling a crab leg for Susan. He wears a pair of thin-rimmed glasses and has deep facial features, just like a young CEO in a novel. Kai was silent for a moment. After a while, the news came again. Oh. God, where did you find this handsome boy? Is he your boyfriend? Susan. Seeing the message, Susan sneaked a shy glance at Lin Feng next to her. She undoubtedly has a great affection for this handsome, sunny, and somewhat low-key boy. Lin Feng is like the protagonist in a fairy tale book, strong and confident. However, the relationship between the two has not yet been revealed, and Lin Feng has not confessed his love, so he should not be considered a boyfriend. Not yet. Susan returned. Then back off and let me come. Quote question mark question mark question mark question mark question mark quote. Susan asked a series of question marks. My mother has been single for more than 20 years, and I think this boy is very suitable for me. Kay's reply was super brave. How about letting me if you don't want it? Get out. Susan replied with a black face, and then turned off the phone, ignoring this escaping girlfriend. Finally, the vehicle slowly drove back to the urban area. Lin Feng and Susan also got off the car in the urban area, it was still early, and they decided to go shopping together and have some supper. In the world of young people, there is no such early rest. The two of them tacitly agreed, and neither of them mentioned the matter of going home. Mr. Lin, please wait. Happy opened the car door and called Lin Feng who was about to leave. What's wrong? Happy. Lin Feng turned around with some doubts. That. Big fatty Happy suddenly twitched a little. He bent down and took out a poster and a pen from the co-pilot. Then it was handed to Lin Feng with a little anticipation. On the poster was Lin Feng wearing a Superman battle suit. Can you sign me? Happy asked shyly. If, if it doesn't bother you, I still want a group photo. Good guy, Susan on the side couldn't help laughing, she already knew that Happy knew Lin Feng's identity. You've become a star, Lin. Susan teased. Lin Feng smiled helplessly at Susan, then turned to Happy and said, it's definitely fine, Happy. After speaking, Lin Feng took off the ring on his finger to hide his identity, and wrapped Lin Feng in a black battle suit. The aura of the whole person suddenly changed, and he was completely different from Lin Feng wearing the ring, which made Happy and Susan call it amazing. Happy took out his mobile phone, and Lin Feng stepped forward and hugged Happy's shoulders. He was taller than Happy, and his knees were slightly bent. One, two, three. Eggplant. Thank you, Mr. Superman. Happy thanked excitedly. Oh no, it's Mr. Lin. I wish you all a wonderful night. Happy, who got the autograph and photo, excitedly gave Lin Feng a hug, got into the car, drew S all the way and ran away. Happy, what are you talking about? Lin Feng changed the battle suit with some embarrassment, put on the ring again, and changed from Superman back to the big boy next door. Oh, Lin, although it's not the first time I've seen it. But if you don't wear a battle suit, you won't be reminiscent of Superman at all. Susan exclaimed, you obviously look the same, but why do I subconsciously think that you are not Superman? This is a secret. Lin Feng touched the ring with a mysterious smile on his face. After finishing speaking, Lin Feng stretched out his hand to invite. Then, beautiful Miss Susan, are you interested in visiting this night city with me? 
Susan didn't speak, but her pretty face was blushing, and she held out her little hand. New York is brightly lit at night, vehicles are passing through the streets, and artists selling and singing are standing in twos and threes on the street, performing hard. Lin Feng walked down the street holding Susan's hand, one in front of the other. Lin Feng, who has been single for 21 years, is a little distracted by the small and soft touch. Neither of them spoke, they just walked quietly, enjoying this ambiguous and wonderful atmosphere. Before they knew it, the two came to a small square. In the distance, street performers in the store are singing songs about love. In the square, there are couples standing arm in arm everywhere. Hey sir, want to buy your girlfriend a flower? The little girl in red held up a bouquet of flowers and blocked Lin Feng's way. Don't look at her young age, her eyes are vicious, this kind of young couple who just fell in love at first glance, will generally not refuse her sale. Sure enough, Lin Feng did not refuse, and bought a bouquet of roses with money. The little girl happily took the money and walked away. Susan silently took the flowers. The two of them remained silent for a long while. Lin Feng felt that the atmosphere was here, and according to the dating manual, he should take the initiative to attack. Encouraging himself in his heart, Lin Feng took a deep breath, turned around, and looked at Susan. Susan, huh? Susan raised her head in response, and then lowered her head shyly, staring at the roses. Will you look at me, Susan? Lin Feng's tone became slow and gentle, which made Susan's heart tremble. She raised her head again and looked into Lin Feng's eyes, where there seemed to be light, bright and flickering. Seeing Susan's illusory pretty face under the light, Lin Feng couldn't help stretching out his hand to caress Susan's face. Susan's pupils trembled slightly, and she subconsciously wanted to step back, but she restrained herself. She didn't refuse, but just opened her mouth, a little confused and a little shy. The look of hesitating to speak made Lin Feng's heart throb. Will you be my girlfriend? Lin Feng took a deep breath, and slowly spit out a few words, his voice was like Cupid's bow and arrow, shooting towards Susan's heart. Lin Feng's sudden confession made Susan a little overwhelmed. She lowered her head in a hurry, so that Lin Feng couldn't see her expression clearly. Scenes about Lin Feng flowed quickly in Susan's mind, and Susan clearly knew her feelings for this big boy. Strong, confident, sunny, but often confused, Lin Feng has carved an indelible mark in his heart after several months of getting along. Susan didn't know what mood she was in now, she just felt her heart beating faster, and the palm holding the rose began to sweat uncontrollably. Susan didn't speak, Lin Feng was a little flustered, what was said in the dating manual. What are you going to say at this time? Lin Feng's brain crashed uncontrollably. That, that, although it may be dangerous to be by my side. But I will risk my life to protect you. Confused, Lin Feng subconsciously read the confession example in the dating manual. I am the seasoning in your seafood, without me you lose all flavor. No no no, I mean, I am your sun in winter, popsicle in summer, and umbrella in cloudy days. Pissed. Susan couldn't help laughing out loud, the nervous feeling was sent away by Lin Feng. She raised her head to look at Lin Feng, her eyes full of smiles were curved like the moon, with a faint light flashing across her eyes. Lin, what are you talking about? No, Susan, I just... Lin Feng said angrily, why couldn't he control his lips? Okay. Susan opened her red lips lightly, spit out two words, then lowered her head again, feeling her cheeks were burning hot. Hearing Susan suddenly say yes, Lin Feng froze. The brain quickly analyzed the meaning of these two words, and in an instant, a river of joy rushed through my heart. Lin Feng's uncontrolled breathing got worse. Yes. As Susan exclaimed, Lin Feng, who received the answer, couldn't help but hug Susan in front of him. Two young people who have no experience in love fall in love together at this moment. Clap clap. The sound of applause suddenly sounded, for the couple who had just confirmed their relationship. Lin Feng looked up, and was shocked to find that his confession attracted a crowd of passers-by at some point. Young man, good job. Bless you, young lovers. The passers-by who came around offered their blessings without hesitation. Applause, whistle, suddenly mixed together. Seeing this, wandering singers not far away also sang the melody of blessing. Confessions have become commonplace in this small street full of love. This place has almost become a holy place for confession in the whole area. 
The citizens passing by all cheered for every couple who confessed successfully. Kiss her, kiss her. Everyone booed and stared at the two young lovers with kind eyes. Lin Feng lowered his head and looked at the shy Susan in his arms. Susan's eyes were full of tenderness, she just stared at Lin Feng quietly, with a smile that couldn't be hidden on her cheeks, as if she was waiting for Lin Feng's action. Be brave, lad. Seeing that Lin Feng hadn't acted yet, the passers-by cheered loudly again, telling Lin Feng to be braver. Lin Feng couldn't laugh or cry, he was more anxious than me when he watched the drama. Trying to calm himself down again, Lin Feng slowly lowered his head and attacked Susan. The distance between the two was getting closer and closer, and the flower-like body fragrance of Susan penetrated into Lin Feng's nostrils. Lin Feng's unique masculine aura was also slowly moving Susan, she closed her eyes gently, as if waiting for a sacred ceremony, waiting for that moment to come. Being so close, the heartbeats of the two lead each other to run faster at this moment. Amidst the cheers of the crowd, there was only a millimeter of distance between their lips. However, in the next second, a sudden change occurred. Boom. It was an explosion. Deafening explosions sounded in another block. It was vaguely accompanied by a beast-like roar. The crowd watching the play suddenly screamed and dispersed. Lin Feng turned his head in astonishment and followed the explosion's reputation, seeing through it. A block away, two gray-green monsters wrestled together in the street. Wherever they went, cars were destroyed and roads collapsed, and people scattered and fled. Hulk and Abomination. Lin Feng had a cold face, he recognized these two monsters who ruined his first kiss. It's just a hair's breadth away. Lin Feng felt a fire in his heart. The two monsters paralyzed the entire street next door, and the citizens who had no time to escape were as fragile as bubbles, trampled to pieces. Run up, the earth is trembling. Lin Feng's expression was not so good, he sighed, and said to Susan, it seems that I'm going to talk it out, Susan. Susan patted Lin Feng's arm lightly, with a smile in her eyes, she definitely knew why Lin Feng was angry. Go ahead, my little Superman, and do what you have to do. Yeah, Lin Feng nodded, wait for me here. After leaving a word, Lin Feng quickly ran to an empty corner. The next second, tearing air sounds came, and Superman soared into the sky, flying towards the two monsters. Susan looked around and found a tall building suitable for taking pictures. She took out a small camera out of nowhere and ran towards the tall building. He also stuck out his tongue in the direction Lin Feng was flying towards very playfully, I won't wait here. On the street, the two big men were still fighting each other as if there was no one else around, and the complaining crowd continued to run away. Fear, bewilderment, worry, etc. echoed throughout the street. In desperation, someone suddenly pointed to the sky and shouted. Superman. It's Superman. Superman is here. The fleeing citizens raised their heads one after another, and in the night sky, a figure came at a very fast speed. With a sudden stop, it stopped on top of the two monsters. Really Superman. It's saved. Superman is here. Superman. Superman. The cheers resounded through the streets one after another, which is enough to show that the image of Superman created by Lin Feng has been deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. At least everyone knows this superhero who walks on the front line of the disaster. Where there is Superman, disasters will be prevented, and Superman is like an umbrella. The soldiers of the United States in the armored vehicle breathed a sigh of relief when they saw Superman coming. With Superman coming, I and the others only need to maintain the scene, instead of rushing up and sacrificing in vain. This level of big guys fighting is not something that ordinary people can stop. Only Superman has this strength. In midair, on an armed helicopter, the soldier cast a questioning look at Chief Ross. General. The soldier yelled, it's Superman, here comes Superman. Officer Ross looked solemn, and ordered decisively, stop descending, hover. The helicopter hovered high in the sky, observing the situation on the ground through the lens. On the ground, Hulk and the Abomination looked at each other, and let out a roar at the same time. The two monsters rushed towards each other for a moment, the earth trembled again, and the broken ground continued to crack. The outcome has not yet been decided, and only one of the two big men can survive. However, just before the two monsters collided again, a red ray filled with high temperature descended from the sky, drawing a straight line in front of the two monsters. 
The two monsters didn't understand what happened, so they stopped running and looked towards the sky. Roar. Hulk roared like a demonstration, and Bruce, exhausted from running around, didn't have time to pay attention to Superman or the like. So he didn't know who it was. Hate did shrink his pupils, and immediately showed an excited expression, twisting his neck. He did recognize Superman. A Hulk is not enough to fight by himself, and now there is another Superman. The TV brags about how powerful Superman is, but in the eyes of the abomination, he is just a grasshopper that can only fly. He wonders if the so-called Superman can catch a punch from him. Lin Fung was floating in mid-air, scanning the two monsters with a stern expression. Don't animals stay in zoos and run wild on the streets? Regarding the culprit who interrupted her first kiss, Lin Fung was not polite at all. Superman. Hate was angered by this sentence, and his huge eyes were fixed on Lin Fung. Come down and play a game. Lin Fung sneered, as you wish. As soon as the words fell, Lin Fung rushed down suddenly, and a fist went straight to the face of hatred with anger. Boom. With the sound of an explosion, Hate hardly saw Lin Feng's movements clearly, he just felt a sharp pain in his head, and a hole was directly smashed on the ground. Shaking his dizzy head, he got up with a roar of hatred. Run towards Lin Feng. The barbed arm swung towards Lin Feng, but Lin Feng easily dodged it. The movements of the big man are like slow motion in Lin Feng's eyes. Boom. The sound came again. Lin Feng kicked out a sonic boom, which was stronger than the fist just now. Hate was kicked tens of meters by this kick and hit the ground, unable to get up for a long time. Roar. A voice sounded from behind Lin Feng, and before he could turn his head, Lin Feng felt the world turned upside down. It's Hulk. Seeing that Lin Feng knocked away his opponent, Hulk was furious. There was a sneak attack immediately, grabbing Lin Feng's legs and swinging a big pendulum to the ground. Bang. A large pit in the shape of a human appeared on the hard ground. Hulk seemed perplexed, stepped up and stepped down again. Suddenly the pit got deeper. One kick, another kick, until the figure of Superman was no longer visible on the ground, Lin Feng had completely sunk into the ground. The people who were still cheering stopped abruptly, and their cheering arms were raised in the air and slowly fell down, watching this scene dumbfounded. As if he had finally stepped on enough, Hulk stopped, panting and grunting, as if proud of his victory. However, in the next second, under everyone's gaze, Superman burst out from the pothole, punched Hulk in the jaw, and sent him directly into the sky. Lin Feng flew out of the pothole with a face of anger, and accelerated to catch up with the Hulk who was taking off. The fists kept hitting Hulk's head with sonic booms. After two punches, Hulk's teeth shattered, and Hulk had no power to stop the incoming punches. Lin Feng didn't stop until Hulk smashed heavily into a ruin and turned back into a human form. He didn't kill Hulk. After all, Bruce is one of the members of the Avengers Alliance in the future. Without Hulk, it is unclear whether it will have any impact. Otherwise, Lin Feng would have rewarded him with a heat ray long ago, just relying on this turtle grandson to sneak attack him. Seeing that Superman knocked Hulk into the air, the citizens cheered again. Superman is stronger than they imagined. The abomination at the moment also came to his senses, and he rushed towards Lin Feng again. The sharp claws headed straight for Lin Feng's door with tearing air sounds. Reckless. Lin Feng snorted coldly, dodging the claws of hatred again. An uppercut with the momentum is exactly the same as when he hit Hulk just now. But abomination is not as lucky as Hulk, and Lin Feng has no intention of showing mercy to him. Hate was punched into the sky by this punch, Lin Feng quickly took off to keep up. Are you ready? Lin Feng asked without thinking, and punched out again at a speed beyond the speed of sound. The hatred that can barely stop the downward trend is soaring at an even faster speed. Lin Feng kept waving his fists, and the hatred kept flying high into the sky. In just a few seconds, amidst the cheers of the citizens, the figures of a man and a beast disappeared into the air. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support my channel.